And here we go. Uh, hello, I am the Great Wizard Merlin. You know. So hello from Guernsey. <laughs> so we are back playing Werewolf the Apocalypse. You know. um, okay. We are down a couple of people. Um, unfortunately, Tulane is uh, not on island. You know, at the moment he won't be for a while. You know, due to work purposes. Um, and Lizzie is off doing family things, so she'll be joining us a bit later. So for now, it is just yeah, you know, it's just us that you can see and Lucy, which is over there. It's a triple threat at the moment. Yeah, so it's a bit a bit more of a confined group, you know. Currently, should make things a bit interesting. Um, so, um, who wants to run off what happened last week? Well, volunteer, Berlin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So obviously, as you as you know, in this we are all werewolves. At least I hope we are. Um, so we started our adventure la yeah, last week. You know, uh, we all randomly got thrown together. You know, um, I say randomly because it's you know it to us it seemed a bit random. Um, and then you know we were then procedurally led off by you know by a couple of people. You know who some of us didn't know. That some of us could recognise that they were higher up in the food chain, so to speak. Everyone's higher up in the food chain. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and we were being led to be initiated. Um, but whether it was part of the plan or not, you know, we ended up being left in the middle of um, was it was it Central Park? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Central Park. Um, and then we were being you know chased down and shot at. You know. So we just had to use our wits and survive, um, and then you know, we ended up coming across a you know um, a small pond. <coughs> so we just ran towards the pond and <coughs> ended up being lifted in towards the sky by a moon bridge, and then ended up in you know in another random place. You know, with more people you know that were werewolves, to which we were going to well, supposedly going to get initiated there, and then everything went wrong. We got blamed for something we clearly didn't do. <laughs> that was like an interesting explanation. Well, you know, this is Cliff Notes. <laughs> but... I'm, I'm staring at my notes. Um, so. Yes, yeah, so then we got booted out of the camp. So um, where in the world are we right now? Uh, Canada. There we go. Yeah, Canada. So we were you know, in the United States and then we suddenly found out we were in Canada. And after being booted out from the camp, we're now in the middle of the snow figuring out what the fuck we're doing yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, oh yeah we came across a uh, you know, a, a spirit you know, a were you know, werewolf spirit of some kind very angry you know, I remember I attempted to speak to it that went well yeah that went well because you know Cass yeah, Cassus then flew in and then bit its munged yeah. munged is a great word for this <laughs> munged it what do you want, dead? <laughs> <laughs> you, it, I, I might have established what my character's built for in that one scene. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, last week was a bit more of us learning, you know, um, what we could do. Yeah, because it's a completely different system to what we're used to. You know, different dice rolling. You know, we were all a bit um, not so confident. I guess is the best best way to put it. Um, but now I think we're a lot better, you know, being as we now know pretty much what we can and can't do. I mean, what he thinks and what the case is are probably very different things. Probably not much better off at all. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much we're in the middle of the wilderness. We're trying, you know, trying to get back to civilization um, and just generally figure out what the fuck we're doing. So, um, to, yeah, so Tulane is pretty much going to be monged out, even though he is technically with us. Let, let me give you accurate roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Um, and currently Lizzie is going to do that until she randomly snaps out of it later. When she comes in. That, that'll be like... I'm here! <laughs> yeah, I'm totally here. I, I'd pass to James. Uh, you said you wanted us to do our characters, but you didn't want us to do full bits again. What do you want to know about our characters this time around? So... I think this <coughs> time round. Oh, oh. So we learnt a little bit about it to start with. So let's have a look at the character sheet. You, are you getting in character? Totally. Moon, moon. <laughs> <laughs> T 
Lady Moon. So let's this time talk a little bit about your auspices and what an auspice is. Ooh. And since you've done all the talking so far, my man, we'll pass to Cassis. <gasps> You know, uh, thank you very much to Athena Blue Gaming for the auto host. Thank you very much. Auspices is the moon phase bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so my character is what's known as an Arun, which means um, I am based off of the full moon. I, I, I think it's sort of tied into when you become a werewolf and um, other things creation. I don't know a lot about it yet because I don't, don't know the system very well. But yeah, so I'm your stereotypical full moon werewolf. You know, all my all my rage and everything is returned and at its peak at full moon. Full moon is my jam. What's, full what's moon. Full moon werewolf. I don't know much more because I don't know this very well. That's good. That's good. I just want to go through what you have at the moment, mm. and then during the session we might find out more as we go. Ooh. Got a moment. Um, okay, so you know my auspice is uh, third, so I'm a bit more in tune, you know, with the with the spirits of the world, and I'm the crescent moon, you know, um, that's my moon, um, <laughs> moon moon. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, they're more in tune, in, in tune with spirits, pretty much. Uh, that's mainly what I can take away from that, or what I remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Lucy. Uh, I'm a Phileodox, Phileodox? Phileodox. Phileodox. So I'm the judges and law keepers of the Garrow world. Uh, Garrow is the actual proper word for werewolf. People that use the term werewolves, um, it's not the correct terminology. <coughs> it's like slang for African Americans is the N word, it's the same thing. Ah. So it's like you're actually insulting <gasps> everyone by calling them werewolves, but you don't know that yet. Werewolf so. is racist? Yeah. yeah. I've read it understand. in a book. <laughs> I understand. Racism is a human concept. Yeah, but that's, that's just the thing. Um, so a firedox, so part of it is, is uh, that keeping the litany um, and in a pack, should any of us do anything wrong, I'm the one that gives the ultimate judgment for those kinds of things. Uh, well, it's meant to be, but that's how Pat goes. And my auspice is the half moon. Thank you. So, for the two that aren't here, you've got Lizzie, who is a galliard, which is a gibbous moon, sometimes called the moon dancer. Um, basically, galliards are the storytellers, the soothsayers, the right masters for opening moots, those kinds of things. Um, and what they do is they sing the praises of the pack and any. Um, werewolves or Garu that are at the moot, they will talk on their behalf if they wish it. And the other one, which is Tulane, is a Ragabash. He is the new moon or the trickster. His position in the pack is more of a scout and more of a person that brings out the fun and the entertainment in life rather than just remembering the hardships and the harshness. His role is also to try and keep the werewolves in <coughs> check so that they don't go running around and basically blaming everything on everyone else. And that's kind of the roles that those two have. Yeah. So there you go, that's the five auspices, all represented by a member of the pack. <laughs> Phew. So. We're going to wake up on day three of the calendar so far. Day three. And it's warm inside your shelter, mostly from the fact that you've all huddled together and uh, shared breath, pretty much. Um, um, oh yeah, I'm still in uh, lupus form currently, so I wanted to get used to it. Yep, yeah, so the inside of the shelter contains a lot of... Um, small icicles and you can see around the uh, the weird goopy stuff that exploded out of the spirit oh yeah seems to have all dissolved and there's a fine dust now on top of the sleeping bags and on some of you Ooh. <coughs> yeah we'll just yeah we'll just say I'll do that <laughs> Cough, cough. Mm. Yeah, I was like, uh. I sort of get up and sort of 
had over to one of the uh, one of the ice schools and start looking at it, just because it'd be a good source of water. Okay. We just need to get up and start packing up. Start trying to find a way. No. <clears throat> Um, oh yeah, so we can change back to our original forms without any any rolls. Yeah, you can change back to your breed form. Yeah, it's like well, yeah, it's like well, not going really to be able to do much in this form. And then, yeah, straight back into my you know my homid form. Naked and proud. Nope, right. nope. Fully clothed. Oh yeah, yeah. So you got the cool spirit thing. He's a flashy bastard. Him. <laughs> yeah, still fully clothed. I, was like, okay. huh. I will nod in appreciation to that because that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll yeah, so I'd be confused. I'm gonna start trying to pack up your sleeping bags. And things. Yeah, so I'll start. I'll start packing up. Um, I will be honest. I am not very good at finding my way uh, in the wilderness. Uh, the I'm not sure what would be the correct way to go to find civilization, to find a city. Mm. Uh, by the way, thank you very much for the Onyx Path. Thank you very much for the host. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. uh, I pull out my phone. Do I have any signal? Actually, I was going to do that. Uh, nope, there is no signal on your phone. Ah. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll nudge one of you. I'll, I will lead. I will lead. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I got no signal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, um, yeah, I figured as much, being as we don't know where we are. <clears throat> Okay, you soon pack up your scant belongings, have a couple of sleeping bags. <laughs> He's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, so look at Tulane, Lizzie, uh, Tulane's character as a here you go, you can carry some things. <laughs> <laughs> they, they put the rucksack on, on Tulane's back. <laughs> as he just stands there. We'll have to leave Lizzie, uh, we'll have to leave uh, Ember in lupus form anyway, because we only have now four sets of clothes between five of us. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. <clears throat> oh, I'm still in this one. Yeah. Is it um, actively, you know, snowing outside, or is it? You haven't opened the door yet. We've got a door. Yeah. <laughs> well, I but thought we, we had just an opening. Yeah, I thought we just had an opening. Apparently, that's how the, uh, how well we actually did last week between us. We, we ah. did well enough to have. Yeah, this is like almost like door. a permanent shelter now. Oh damn! You have no idea where it is, obviously, in the Canadian wilderness, but yeah. You're pretty sure this is going to... Can't even stick a GPS tracker on the phone. (laughs) Because, you know, there's no signal anywhere. You've just got your, like, video game style PDF map. (laughs) Just fucking put a pin on the the shelter. Current location. Open the door, then. Okay, okay. I open the door. It doesn't budge. We might be snowed in. Um... You know, I'm gonna have a look, um, like around, you know, the edges of the door. Does it look like it's frozen, or it's fairly frozen? And it looks fairly white outside. Mm, yeah. So. Yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, perhaps we've been snowed in a combination of us. That's halfway. Iced in. Halfway. Yeah, ha- halfway to Krenos. Yeah. <laughs> These get big. And that's Wait. the rest of the way. Okay, I, I, I shift up to Krinos form, watching him sort of there trying to get the door. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go and give it a proper <coughs> punch. Okay, can I get a strength and athletics roll? Yeah, so I'm just there looking at the door. Can... You know, it's like, mm, yeah, I think you know, we're snowed in. You know, Bam! So it's like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Six for my strength and athletics, plus four for <coughs> Krinos form. So what's your strength and athletics total before you roll that? Six. But that's mm. not including the plus four from Krenos. So, so it's ten. Ten after that. <laughs> okay. Ten. You're pushing or pulling? Pushing. Um, <coughs> yeah, what will the difficulty be? Still going to be seven? Still seven. seven. Standard? Okay. <coughs> One, <coughs> two. This is when he gets into cr- three. Uh, into, uh, three successes. Form and then just okay. drop kicks the door. There's enough successes to bust open a wooden door, of which this is. Awesome. So, yeah, you bust open this wooden door and shunt this like heavy block of snow and ice that's formed up on the outside. It gives like. a creak and a shudder as the door opens. And you get this hot, cold blast of really cold air as the hot air starts to leave the uh, shelter as well. Like the fucking Kool-Aid man. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's see the position. Hot. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you can see outside it's still snowing <sighs> is it still heavy oh yeah heavy there we go okay so uh so the choices we have is stay here for another day and then travel or try and travel in that Mm. problem is best, it's best to travel soon mm. problem is is that food seems to be very very scarce around here and, and not welcome okay no I'll not, not, not welcome good advice let's pack up what we can and go <clears throat> okay. let's see how far we can get I shift back down to my lupus form okay can I get a intelligence primal urge roll from everyone, please? So for me, intelligence, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it both? Yeah, it's both if you have both, but what I don't have. Does it primal urge. to difficulty eight? Um, knowledge of what would be best. Okay. okay. Two successes, one of which is a ten. If that okay. counts. It doesn't unless you've got a specialisation. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. One success. Yeah. Three successes. Okay. Ooh. Between the, all of you, you know that the best form of transport that you're going to have while out in a blizzard is probably being on four legs rather than two legs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I that. shifted back and I go... Uh, you know, so I start, sort of start trudging, and then I sort of go. This is probably not the best way I'm of just getting sort around, of like is it? Bouncing around. Uh, in my I'm going to convince like, Lane's <laughs> character that we need to go there. We're going to get. You have to because we have to strip and change forms. So I'm going to start. Yes. Clothes off. Break yeah. clothes. Yeah. So, so yeah, I start stripping, and then I need to change. I can't remember how I change forms. Strange, oh, strange, strange human plant plant fur. Gamma plus primal urge, I believe. Ah, uh, yeah. For yeah. me, it's just three dice. And you need the the difficulty is set by which of the forms that you want to do, and then you need the number of successes to go up the, or down the chain to get to whichever form you want. So I need to get four successes to get from Homid to Lupus. Yeah. Yes. Which I can only get a maximum of three on one roll anyway, but that's fine because you you can stop on, on the way. Yeah. Oh. And then like, continue. No successes. <laughs> uh, I transition all the way through to lupus. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so Smooth, I'll just say. It. By the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like Try again. I'm going to convince Tulane's character to carry the rucksack in his Is that one or a seven? That's a one. For <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> sake. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> you can spend a point of rage to yeah. shift to the yeah. form you want if you're getting frustrated. I'll try once more, then I'll use a point in rage. Okay. I, can... I don't know. I, I think me. And you <laughs> are very, uh... Oh, that, no, yeah, that's that's good. That. Yeah. So I got three sixes. Three sixes. Yeah. Because yeah. you're going for lupus, the difficulty oh, so is six. To hispo. Yeah. Yeah. So now you only need one more success to get the rest of the way. Or yeah. So it's like. <laughs> so so you get big and then start to get smaller and uh, one more. You can stop at hispo if you wish. Um, yeah, because that's halfway between you know big war machine, you know, and, and you wolf. Know, yeah, wolf. Yeah. Uh, screw it. Let's just go. With it. Let's just keep the hispo. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go with that. Do remember that while you're in your different forms, mm -hmm. it changes your stats. Oh yeah, don't worry. That's so why I've got all those written here. Okay, good. <coughs> so <coughs> his, you know, hispo. I'm just like, yeah, this will do. <laughs> Okay. This will do. <laughs> I don't know if you want to describe for those that haven't been in lupus form before what you look like. Um, oh yeah. That's what I was about to, about to ask. But yeah. Um, yeah. So I've got you know, a very brown, you know, brown fur. Um, I mean, my eyes themselves look more pronounced. So you probably already you know, would notice I've got two different colour coloured eyes. Um, you know, so I've got one, one brown and one blue. Was it? No, did I say green? Hang on a second. Can you tell me. I'm just I'm double checking. I don't know. Yeah. Do one, you yeah. What that's called? Ah, uh, forgotten already. Heterochromia. Yeah, heterochromia. That's it. I knew that one. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. There we go. One brown, one brown and one blue. Okay. Do you have just dark brown fur? Do you have any markings? 
Uh, no, it's it's pretty much you know um, one just color. yeah, just one color. You've got grey, don't you? Have yeah, stuff I am a grey wolf. I, I have sort of well, grey fur all over, pretty much, and I have a pair of very piercing, bright, ice blue eyes. <clears throat> but yeah, I actually took a little bit of inspiration from that because my blue eye, you know, um, you know, is you know obviously just a normal, you know, normal standard colour blue when I'm in, you know, my Muhammad form. But when I transform. You know, my the blue in the eye is more pronounced, so it's you know it's a bit more, you know, um, yeah, a bit more like ice blue. Is your fur just grey? No flex. You've got no markings. No. All right. Um, oh, I see mine. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and his you know hispo form. So that's more. Um, well, because it's halfway. Irish wolfhound in size. Ah yeah, is that still on two? Is that on two legs or is no, that down four to four? Legs. Ah okay. Mm. I've got dark brown fur uh, with flecks of white, grey, and silver. Hmm. No, wolfy, wolfy. Okay, yeah. I've made yes, I've made uh, Tulane's character carry the backpack with his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave behind. <coughs> yeah, and also in Hispo form, you know, I have plus one die to bite damage in case that comes up. Mm, might do. So, you make your way out into the blizzard. It's cold, although relatively warmer now that you're covered in fur. Yay, fur! And you start to head off in a single line, about ten foot spacing. Who's going to be the lead? Um, because mm. I believe I'm actually leading everyone where we need to go. I'll be leading. You're scouting, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah. Well, just wayfinding at this point. Uh, I've got, um, yeah, I've got no survival. You've got to go first. <laughs> I do have survival. Um. Yeah. So, perception, survival? Perception, survival? Sure thing. Yeah, actually, um, in, um, mm. would you have naturally gone second? or Because I literally would have got, yeah, just gone you know, whichever you know, way... Uh, difficulty I'll put, at seven. I'll put you in the middle. Okay. Cool. So mine will be. Oh no! Sorry. Difficulty eight. Okay. So mine Four. will be five then. Uh, yep. One, two, three, four, five. That one wasn't five. Successes. Five successes. Okay, you successfully work out the correct pathway down because yep. that was the direction you were heading in before. Yep. And you navigate well for the next few hours. Ooh. As you're trudging through the snow, you can occasionally hear the wind whipping across the top of the valley, even though it's completely outside of your vision. Yep. Everything is a torrid winter wonderland of ice, snow, and cold. Is it very, Canada? Is it, is it very loud <laughs> while we're walking? Sorry, the wind. Can we still hear each other if we talk? Uh, you could probably, if you were the person at the back, you wouldn't be able to hear the, the you wouldn't be able to hear Cassus at the front. Mm. Okay. Unless I was being like really loud. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. I'll, I'll talk to you as you're walking then. Um, okay. <clears throat> so, I just need to put my wolf voice on. We have different voices when we're in different forms. Yeah, I just need to get used to the fact that I have a different voice, you know, when I'm. <laughs> have we figured out how to walk, work four legs? Oh, yeah, that's why I stayed in uh, Looper's form you know, uh, yesterday, so I am actually trudging, you know, um, you know pretty much okay now. You. you you look like you are adapting fast. <clears throat> it feels natural. Yes. Um, some of the things I was trying to explain to uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, mm. um, is that <coughs> he thinks in very um, human mentality, and some of the things we are in, we need. To do. What was that noise? Uh, that would be a new follower. Oh, you're not allowed like followers. <gasps> Null Wolf, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, I'll pop up there in a second. Mm. Yeah, appropriate. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. There you go. Yeah, it's awesome. 
Uh, yeah, you're going well. Um, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, you said talking about Gabriel. Yeah, uh, but we need to think in a, a Garu mindset now. Hmm. <clears throat> Still new concept. <laughs> You understand word Garrow, yes? Yeah, um, read, read it before, not fully understood. Okay, that's what we are. Werewolf is a very crude human word. We are Garrow. Ah. Uh, so, you know, um, yeah, I only, um, I only read you know, werewolf, but, that, that, but that's rude. Bad, uh, bad slang. I can't hear it. <laughs> right, you, actually, I can hear you, you could probably hear me, but not him. So I, thought was, I thought you were at the back. Oh, are you in the back of the middle? Um, I, yeah, because I thought you said you let me go in the middle. No, no, you can hear him, not me then. Yeah. So I'm sort of hearing half conversation that I really don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this bit. I was trying to explain. Um, <coughs> there are there are thirteen litany, thirteen laws. And then many rules and etiquette. <clears throat> well, I'm very good with human etiquette, obviously. Yeah, you get more in touch with your instincts to understand some etiquette, but... Human etiquette is silly. <clears throat> well, when you've been a, you know, a wolf your entire life, I, you know, I guess it's different. Well, I've not been a wolf all my life. Uh, that was um, to fuck it. Flies without fear. <laughs> yeah, fly, yeah, it flies without fear. <laughs> ah, oh yes, it is good. You are between two teachers of two forms. Hmm. So, tell me. Okay. Um, I explained one litany rule to you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. First sheriff kill uh, for greatest in station. Yeah. Ah. Yes. That one. Mm. Which can be um, to mean many things, but uh, the way that I have told you is the fairest way. <clears throat> Makes sense, you know, for yes. hierarchy. <laughs> uh, you know human etiquette. What kind of things, rules do you remember? <clears throat> when, when it comes to sharing food, <clears throat> um, gen you know, generally it's not so primal I think is the word is the word it's more we ju we share everyone equal really most most important rule you probably have in human society is not murdering each other uh, that that as well <laughs> <laughs> think think of the laws of the laws laws of police laws of land um, that rule not really is there hmm but obviously murder is not good uh, I think probably very important rule, very one most important rule I think, but maybe not always the case, mm. is uh, is the veil should not be lifted. So any Garu who shows any of our society to a normal human is very very severely punished. No, that one did leak into the books. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I made I made sure not to make myself known. Even even by accident. Still very severely punished. What is book? <laughs> um, but um, book. It's made of. No, do you know what paper is? No. <clears throat> okay. Um, no, you, you see written that. word. You know word. You know you read words. No. <sighs> <sighs> this difficult. No. <laughs> 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 um. Okay, in human society. Why don't you just tell him that you'll show him when when we get there? <clears throat> okay, when when we next rest, I will show you. You know, I will show you a book. Okay. <clears throat> easier, it's, it's easier. Tasty. No, oh. you 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 look and read. Information. Yeah, it gives you information or tells you stories. What is read? Okay, I will show. I will show you. E easier to explain later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Uh. <laughs> what is book? <laughs> yeah, you've got. Okay, you got two. You got two. Two. Two laws. Uh, the veil shall not be lifted. No. No tell humans. No show humans. No let humans guess. Nah. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, you know what a garrow is now. It's yes. very important. Yeah, a garrow. Okay. Uh, you have garrow shall not mate with garrow. Makes monstrosities. Uh, like inbreeding. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Perception alert. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a lovely conversation. Is it something? Yeah. Mm. Don't drop dice. Difficulty seven. Uh, yep. Okay. So I'll go down three for the end of this. So, fours. One, two, three, four successes. Okay. Woo! Um, you think the blizzard is starting to abate somewhat? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. What else is this? Who's one? Um. Respect the territory of another. When we cold, cold wind is dying down. No, um, oh good. Um, flies without fear says co- yeah, cold wind is dying, dying ah. down. Hopefully soon I will be able to hear him while we walk. So Hopefully. When we first arrived here, the warden said we had done a good job because flies without fear had done a howl of introduction. Is polite etiquette to announce oneself in another's territory. Ah, <clears throat> how um, how would we know if we're in another's territory? Uh, you know, without smell. being smell, smell, that is markings. Me. Smell is one way. Um, you can sometimes tell by marking yeah, markings on ground, um, or when we are in a more up to date place you can get an app for your phone <laughs> there, there's there's an app for this yes when we find right person we will download app when in homid form what is app we will easier to show you later but it, um, you put it this way to show <laughs> tell him no. tell him it, it's a, it's a homid thing. It's a human thing. So as 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 we're saying, you must teach us more. Teach him more wolf ways. He will teach you some human ways in fair change of information. Mm. Yes. Mm. So you can show. Okay. You, 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 <laughs> might, well, you must show him how to properly mark territory. He does not understand. Oh no! Are there any trees around? There's <laughs> sparse trees here. First lesson, I wander over to a tree, cock my leg and piss on it. <laughs> oh. And what, what, once, I've, once I've finished pissing, I'll put my leg down, sort of... Yeah. And then carry on. That is one way. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> okay, next one. Next book. Um, accept an honourable surrender. Hmm. Mm, accept an honourable surrender. Mm. That seems fair, mm. like in um, human culture. Mm. Yes. The valley starts to lead round to the left, but you're still walking in the centre of it. Ah. In a valley. I'm just following flies without fear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> flies without fear. Yes. Uh, submission to those of higher station. Yeah, uh, so that's not grovelling at someone's feet that is being respectful of those of high station and mm. for us that's pretty much everybody yeah makes sense you've done the first share of a kill for greatest station uh, you shall not eat the flesh of humans no tastes bad anyway makes you insane bad no. Plus, but, but most plus, importantly, tastes bad. But also to do with veil lifting and bad. Mm. It's very mm. badly punished. Okay, no, I do. do not do not intend to do such things. Um, respect those beneath you, for we are all of Gaia. Mm. You know, also fair. Mm. As she mentions the word Gaia, you come round the corner and you get this breathtaking view like a basin area in front of you you can see 
there are some dry spots that aren't affected very much by the snow. They seem to run in a very straight line, and it's a <laughs> dark area where those straight lines run. <coughs> you can see in the distance somewhat still, even though it's still blizzardous around you, but you can actually see it. There's like spots of brighter light in the area and some kind of grey blocky shapes. <coughs> Stonehenge. Wait, you, <laughs> you, you know no Garu? You know Gaia? Mm. You know, um, r- yeah, read of um, Gaia you know, before. Um, in human culture, they believe um, the you know the whole planet, you know, world is Gaia. Yes. You know, um, and when you know when we die, we share our experiences to Gaia, and then new spirits you know are born also, from Gaia. Also, yes. Oh, Gaia, so that Gaia that made, is true. Gaia made Garu. As you come round the corner, that your other pack mates are starting to come round. Mm. You can see in the distance what looks very much like um, maybe a motorway or something. It's like a grey line across the distance. <gasps> Definitely asphalt, and there's no snow on it, so it must have been salted at some point. It's still quite a ways off. Mm. And in the distance, you can see lights of probably what is civilization and the outlines of some greyish block shaped buildings. Ah, oh. <gasps> look, no, no, I, I think that's a road. You know, and as you try to it. your pack mate, you get the same okay. description again. What, what is road? You know, um, road Where carries cars. Very long. It's civilization. What is cars? No, no, you okay? You think more simple. See, so see the grey line. Yes. That's where we need to go. We are okay. going to head to a human town, so we can travel back home. Give, give, given how how is the sort of snow on the ground at the moment? Is it like less deep than it was further up? No, it's still it's fairly deep here. You're you're still walking on it, and it comes up to about what would be there, I guess, on a wolf's leg, because you're still quite heavy. Oh yeah, you know, on him it comes up to barely there, but that's the same distance. It's just his legs are longer. Uh, yeah. Is the form you're in? Are you like a bigger wolf? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, James described so before. It's more you're of an Irish wolf. About the size of a big Labrador, and he's about the size of a very tall Shetland pony. Okay. When we get a reasonable distance, we will need to change back, but not yet. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I, I make myself a beak. <laughs> yes. Guy made Gary. <laughs> ah. So, yes. it's, so it's translation, wide and yeah, translation open. much didn't change. That's then. why I'm very open, as you can tell in the blizzard. We are, but you can see like the grey line here for many reasons. Yeah. We are to protect and nature. We are to fight the worm. Mm. Yes, don't know much about the worm. That is a longer conversation. We will mm. also have that yeah. one. I know worm is bad. <laughs> very bad. Okay, uh, you know, fail <laughs> shall not be lifted. We should we should test your legs. Mm, how so? Run. Run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Run. One 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 thing to walk. Exhilarating to run. But but obviously be wary. There may be humans around. <clears throat> keep no keep eye out. So, run. So okay, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna take off a bit of a run. All right. Run, bitch, uh-huh. run! Hey, hey, hey Lizzie. Lizzie. <laughs> given given that he's new to his legs, like a like a puppy, um, I, I'm not gonna take off at like my full pelt, like four legged sprint. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I'll, I'll take a fairly a fairly decent sort of pace. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, yeah, okay. Um, do you mean to roll an, you know, anything yeah, for fine. running, or is that just like endurance running? You know, no, that's only endurance running. Yeah, so okay, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, you know, so then you take off. Yeah, so because you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not used to this form either. You know, then you know, I got used to walking, and then I start going to run. But because I'm not used to the my the length of my legs, I start going all over the place a little bit. 
you know, and then you know after a bit I then start getting used to get used to it because especially because of the thick snow as well you, you stop doing like the two legged bound and actually start using the legs properly <laughs> yeah <coughs> you know I almost fall over a couple of times and then yeah, I sort of right myself and then it starts to feel yeah feel a bit more natural <laughs> oh, the rest of the pack running yes okay. <coughs> are you going to fan out or run in the line um I'm actually going to fan out a little bit just because it gives me a chance to stretch my legs more because I can go further out and probably come back quicker than he can go in a straight line. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I'm making sure Moon Moon doesn't fall behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no shot, yeah. No sharp torn- corners because otherwise it's like... <laughs> Every now and then I'll probably sort of weave across the front of you as I'm like going further to the other side for like a, a run and can you make a perception awareness roll? Please? Ooh, perception awareness, only three Uh Perception <laughs> alertness. Alertness, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, is it based off movement? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no bonuses for you. Uh oh. It's nine. also not at night. <laughs> nine. <coughs> Three successes. Excellent. You can <coughs> definitely tell that a patch of ground that you just ran over did not feel like a patch of ground. <gasps> however, Ooh. you've already run over it. <clears throat> the next person in line, however, which is... Um, Gabriel. Um, he gets He's thoroughly surprised as the bear that you've just woken up... <laughs> oh, no! ...rears up angrily... <coughs> And smashes him in the side with a bear claw, throwing him off to one side. Finn. <laughs> it looks incredibly angry. And that's where we're going to start rolling for Dex. Oh. So pretty much, I kind of ran. Either I ran and then went, huh? as a bear then rises up and twats Gabriel in the face. <laughs> so what have I missed? <laughs> uh, we woke up. We were up trapped. We were trapped in us in our little home because he got snowed in. Yeah. We decided that we were going to. So what? Uh, what do we need to roll again for? I was explaining um, Gary's society. Okay. So I was explaining the thirteen. What do we rock what? Uh, it's mm-hmm. basically it's his initiative, isn't it? Uh, as we were doing that, ah, because the way we were walking. I remember. Yeah. Cass was in, in, in his front. Lupus, you do yeah. get that. Merlin was in the middle and I was at the back, so Merlin oh, and yes. could hear both of our conversation, but me and Cassus couldn't hear each other. So we had this like weird halfway three way conversation. And then we had kept stuff like oh, wow. just going, What's a book? What's an app? What's a car? <laughs> <laughs> so what I would so do. So I get saying, seven dice now. I get nine. <coughs> so we went through at the start all about auspices and what you can do with auspices. Okay. I, I did yours and I did uh, um, um, Delane's as well. Is this working off the same um, <coughs> same success? Uh, Probably thing, on so. sevens. Yeah, yep, like normal. Sevens. So it hasn't been stated that it's higher or lower. So it's uh, seven. I was ju- I was just double checking as I couldn't quite remember. I remember. Three. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I need you all to roll. Okay, oh, fuck you! Fuck you on the horse you're riding on. One of them is a <laughs> ten. My fair fair play, please. Yeah, that that was pretty good considering I've got less dice to roll. Well, to, to be fair, um, having more dice is as much a blessing as it is a curse. Yeah. Because yeah. you can roll one to cancel out your successes. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so far, I'm doing alright. Mm. Oh, you've just fucking. That's what it. I said so far. Yeah, you have jinxed so it. Why now. did we start running? Because uh, you got to an open stretch and you wanted to teach. Um, the Homid pack notes how to move properly. And we can see Just when I change and a town in the distance. Ooh, okay. Yeah, basically when I changed, you know, I was going to change to go into Lupus form, but I managed to get all the way up to Hispo and then thought, fuck it, I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't get any further because you fucked up, right? Well, no, I just needed to roll again, but, you know, I'd already rolled three times before then. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. to, to be yeah. fair, Hispo actually is working quite well for him because with bigger, with slightly bigger legs, it means he's a bit further up, up away from the ground and less deep in the snow, technically. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. same deep, but less deep, because he's bigger. It does mean that he wakes up there, so. Yeah, I just ran over a bear. I heard that bit. I was here for that section. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there was me just, like, veering off, like... Roll. Yeah. Okay, oh, so... Four successes. Five. So you're five, four... Three. Three. Three, Three. right, okay. Uh, you were five, weren't you, Lizzie? 
Yes, five. You got four, Marion. Nina, yes. Okay. Yeah, I know. Of the two that got three, mm -hmm. um, which one has the higher dex plus wits? I have, uh, including Lucas changed form. form. Yeah. yeah, changed form as well. Uh, I have nine. What's your dex plus wits? Including the bonus for Lucas one. Oh. Um. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <gasps> okay. So ten. Oh, I, am I meant to add that in when I do my? Oh, I did. Yeah. Sorry, I did not add that in. Yeah. So I right, cloud three, and then obviously I have plus Lucas. So does that mean it's five? Plus two. Uh, yeah. So you can roll an extra two dice if you didn't roll them last roll time. Two dice. No. <laughs> okay. So what's yours? Ten, is it? Yeah. And yours is nine. Yeah, because I yeah, so I've I've got a dex, <coughs> a dex of three and a wits of four, and then the plus two to the dex from Lucas. Mm. Yay! Potentially one of my gifts could come into play here. Nah, you have no gifts. One of mine might as well. You are useless. Okay, Cassus, what's your action going to be? Remember it's. Tell me what you're going to do, then we're going to move on to the next, and then we're going to move on to what the next, then we're going to resolve backwards. Uh, I'm going to... Have I actually seen the bear? Is it, is it obvious enough? It roared, yeah. stood up, and clobbered one of your yeah. pack mates who's gone oh, careening off to the side with a spurt of red across the pristine white. Arr! Pretty! <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, I'm going to run and brush past the bear, employing one of my gifts. Okay, that's two actions. Okay. Because you have to employ so the gift. Is it? Mm. Split your what is yours? Um, see, Full leather. does that count as an action, given it's that it's uh, it's even through the lightest brushing contact? Mm. Well, we're now in combat, so it can't be lightest touching. If you're going to touch it, you're going to have to actually touch it. <laughs> Just sit in front of it. Boop! <laughs> <laughs> Just pop it on the snout. <laughs> That's where the bear just goes... Oh. <laughs> in, 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 that, in that case, I will just go and uh, bite the fucker then. Okay, so it's still two actions, because you're going to have to turn around to run, you're gonna have well, to run I'll, back. Well, I'll start running back, and then I'll do biting next time. Okay, so your action is to run. Yep. Lucy... You Isn't see it? your pack mate go careening off to the side with a spray of red across the pristine white snow. And this giant bear, I don't know if you've ever seen a bear as your character, but this thing is huge. <clears throat> and it looks really angry and has like these red eyes. Tiny little weeny red eyes. Like um, I'm going to move so I can stand over my injured pack mate. Okay, so you're going to move to cover your pack, mate. Right? And um, growl. Okay. And Merlin. Right. You know, I am going to you know, um, turn around and square up to the bear. Okay, you are staring at its back. Ah, you know, oh, okay. In that case, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to move so I go in front of him. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, uh, have my gift, hopefully, employed here. Smell of man. Which means that um, even wild animals are more likely to flee rather than attack me. But I'm basically going to you know, um, be there and try and look as intimidating you know, as I can be. Okay. <clears throat> See if I can get him to get him to run away. So what does Smell of Man do? Does it mean that you get to roll? Uh, no, basically it's a permanent gift. Basically I give more of a scent off of man. So if it's a tame am animal, for example, yeah. um, you know, they they're normally gonna be like afraid of, you know, any you know, um any Garou. any garu and stuff like that. Whereas I smell all, more like man, so they're you know automatically gonna trust me. Okay. Whereas wild animals, you know, then they tend you know, it says that they're more likely to flee rather than than attack me. Okay. Doesn't say that they, they will definitely not attack me, it just means they're more likely to run away. Okay. Lizzie. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, well, did you want me to roll um an intimidation plan, check? Yeah. It's not your turn no, yet. No, you just going you're to do descriptions it. first. Right, and okay. And resolve actions backwards. Okay, sorry, yeah. forwards, really. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be stepping in front of its face. I'm going to be changing, but I'm going through the change as I'm going to use my animal ken 
and <coughs> intimidation to try and get it to back the fuck down. Okay, that's going to be like three actions. Because you're going to have to move to be in front of it. Yep. Then you're going to have to use an action to change. And then you're going to have to use an action to do the... What was the last bit you wanted? Um, basically basically intimidate it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... You're going to need to work out your dex and athletics dice pool for moving, even though yep. technically you're not going to roll it. You're going to need to work out your... Uh, I don't need to roll to shift. You don't, but we still need to create the roll regardless. So okay, stamina yeah. and primal edge for your second one. And yep. then your last one is going to probably be... I don't It'd have a character sheet. Animal can and intimidation. Uh, manipulation. Manipulation. Oh, manipulation. Yeah. And yeah, because it's, it's usually intimidation. One. Okay. Yeah, it's usually one of the. So I've worked that out, points. and I've got the smallest pool. Okay. And I'm so going to split assign, it as I. You're going to have to assign one dice to movement, even though yep. you're not going to roll for it. One dice to shifting, even though you're not going to roll for it. And whatever the dice are left is what you're going to have for that. Yeah. Okay. Dice pool splitting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah. So the first time you get to do a dice, split, you know, dice pool split, and it's three ways, not just two. <laughs> it's okay when it's in a three way. It's not gay when it's in a three way. With a honey in the middle, it's some leeway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to resolve the actions backwards. <laughs> the bear barrels over. Uh, Barrels over to Lucy mm -hmm. and makes two attacks. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Shit, bro. No bear. Oh, it reminds me of a Facebook video that I watched the other day where there was um, a bear, you know, antagonizing a woman who had a kayak. <laughs> and she's just there going, go, go away, bear. Go away. No. <laughs> No. Why are you doing that, bear? No. <laughs> Leave it alone. It's not even tasty. <laughs> no, bear. <laughs> this went on for like a good five minutes. <laughs> so that's what will be happening if I fail miserably at intimidating it. No. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> You're an awful care bear. <laughs> You're an awful care bear. <laughs> You don't care! You don't care at all! <laughs> it's fine, bear with him while he figures out his dice. Uh, uh, come on, if it was going to be anyone, it was going to be me. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting for it. I mean, he, to be fair, he's the grizzled veteran of this system, so... Uh, Stop with the pun! No! <laughs> okay, that's gonna be seven to hit you, which it does. Are you intending to change your action? So you can change your action from what you said so far, and you'll take a minus one to your dice pool if you decide to do that. Can I block it? You can block or dodge or parry. Parrying requires you to have a physical weapon. Blocking is like putting your arm in the way. At the moment, it's going to bite you and then claw you. If I dodge, is to lane going to get hurt? Uh, you don't know the outcome of that action. Okay. Well, I can only dodge one of the attacks, can't I? Yes. So, okay, well, I will try and dodge. Okay, so work out your dodge dice pool, which is your dexterity plus athletics. And then deduct one dice. Athletics <coughs> is that one. Mm. And dex. So minus one. So. <laughs> I changed my action. I somersault kick bear in the face. Fucking hurricane roll! I do a gun. I got four dice. Okay, so roll your dice. Difficulty is seven. You should pull out the fucking rock bottom. Fuck! <laughs> Give it people's elbow. One. Okay, so I've only got four successes I need to hit. So one, two, three, four, plus yeah. its strength. This E. I want that dice pool plus one. E. One, two, 
Why did it have to be me that woke the bear? Because <laughs> you're annoying and you're in the wrong form. Because you don't understand. You're useless. Well, I knew okay, what... Okay, so that is five successes of damage. So you get to roll your soak, which is your stamina. Remember, you have an augmented stamina because you're not in a homin form. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have five dice for my stamina. Okay, so you roll your five dice. Difficulty is once again seven. Stamina! No. No successes? No. Okay, you take five health levels of damage. Ooh. So I'm crippled. Yep. Uh, mauled. Mauled. Should be mauled. Not crippled. Uh, yeah, so one, two, I think you went one, two, five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, you no, should no. be mauled. Oh, yeah, because obviously it's you're fine, you know, so then. Yeah, above that is just. Well, just I'm uh, cool. Just, I think I'm, I'm good. The way the sheets laid out. Mm -hmm. Because minus five is like one, two, so three, four, five. Oh, the minuses is, is how many three. minuses you oh. take to your dice pool yeah. when you're rolling things. Yeah. Right, so. Mm. so, does this mean that regen's going to come into effect, or does it not? Well, I will tell you what form of damage it is once I finish doing all of the attacks. Oh. Oh crap. Okay, yeah. so I then swipe a core at Tulane. <laughs> Is he still there? <gasps> he's moon moon. <laughs> he's doing his breath his best emperor impression. <laughs> no, he's doing his breast his breast. Uh, his, he's, he's doing, doing his, his best <laughs> Merlin impression. <laughs> no, get, no, it. No. Yeah, get it right. It's no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I tolerate you really. I noticed you said to tolerate. Yes. Where's the love? Downstairs. Well, the love was when I was at the Chinese and eating all of that food. <laughs> That's where the love was. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so unfortunately, your pack mate falls unconscious. The bear <gasps> has done lethal damage to the pair of you. So yeah. that is a cross in the box. If it's bashing, it's just one slash. If it's lethal, it's a cross. And if it's aggravated, it's a cross with another slash through the centre of it. Okay. Ooh. So that is lethal damage. Tulane is unconscious. The bear has basically bounded up to you, bared down on you, <laughs> uh, bitten you in the, the chunky, meaty part of your shoulder blade. <laughs> As you've yelped, it's then reached out a claw and smashed it into the ground and then raked its clawed arm across Tulane. You can still what see a bastard. the uh, little pinpricked red marks sort of sweeping through the air as it's come down and then bit you on the shoulder from its eyes. What a bastard. Right, so next action is Lizzie. You are going to do an intimidate. Yes. Okay, so you bound up, you shift. Okay. Currently it's got oh. one of your pack mates in its mouth yeah. and it's like pretty much crushing your other pack mate into the snow. Okay, so that is two successes as basically to do it as I'm changing to shout a hit, back down, leave. And that's manipulation intimidate? Yep. Okay, you can see the bear is intimidated, but it carries on regardless. Mm -hmm. Carry on regardless. Merlin. <sighs> okay, so yeah, so no, I still got to continue my action. You know, mm -hmm. um, so bound up in front, you know, in front of it, you know, um, and basically trying to intimidate the fucker to get its back off. So okay. what I did. So yeah, well that was my original <laughs> action anyway. So <clears throat> work out your dice ball for manipulation, intimidate, and then minus one dice from it. Three, four. Is that because moving is counted yes. as an action? Oh, okay. So that's still three. Remember, everything is happening in about three seconds. And so far, none of you expended any rage to do anything. No, no, that that might might count. 
<laughs> Epic fail. Is that a botch? That yeah. Is a botch. You can use a willpower for it not to be a botch. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Do you want to use a willpower for it not to be a botch? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How much willpower you have? Uh, well. Six. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're fine. So, you know, so how does this work me using it? Do I just um, shade, yeah, shade yeah, in Shade it? in the square at the bottom to show that you've used it. Cool. So, using a willpower, not a botch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lucy, your action was changed to a dodge. Yep. Okay. And... <clears throat> so, Classes. yeah. I pretty much just roll right, right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you move around and see that one of your pack mates is buried into the bear's maw. And these glowing, dull red eyes. And it, your other pack mate looks to be squished under this huge bear paw. And there is just blood seeping across the, the pristine white snow. Sorry, all I can think of is glowing red eyes. Boop! <laughs> fucking glowing um, anymore, bitch! <laughs> and you can see Lizzie is there trying to intimidate the uh, the bear, and while it gives a shudder, it carries on regardless. Uh, hi there, um, Jig Sinchinier. Yeah, we'll just go with Jig Jigsy Junior. Jigsy Junior, you gimp. Oh, Jigsy Junior. Oh, to, um. leave me alone. He's officially uneducated. We've revoked his education. It's um, fine. Either way, yeah. hello. Is education implies we care. <laughs> um, well, that's the end of your action. Yeah. It's basically, just bounded up to the bear. Right. Okay. So <laughs> they're laughing at me. It's we fine. now have a choice. Yes. Either we can keep the same initiative and we'll track it the same way, or we can re-roll because it's a new round. Well, the bear was fairly high on the initiative. Mhm. Mm Do we want to attempt to? one-up it this time I, I'm i in favour of attempting to one-up it on the initiative yeah so am I yeah yeah. because if we can at least go first we can fuck its turn okay like right in the mouth hole everyone re-roll initiative then so that's dex plus wits yeah mm -hmm, so four <sighs> but I take a minus because I'm in right yep yeah. so you two that so you're more than one yeah. You take two dice off of whatever dice forms you now design. But I, I take the plus two from Lupus, so really just cancel each other out. Yeah. 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 Uh, less successes this time. <coughs> <coughs> and I take it tens don't make a difference on no. Yeah, okay. Well, you can't specialise in two stats. I don't change. <laughs> I've gotten worse, I'm two successes this time. So four. I don't change. Five. I'm still waiting. One success. You finished. Okay, right. Six successes. Five successes. Five successes. Again. <laughs> oh dear. Four successes. Three successes. We're doing worse. <laughs> <coughs> but it, it, it should Depends. mean the bear needs to re-roll. Yeah. The, Two successes. Okay. Hello. Yeah, the bear. What is your dex plus which? You know, um, seven. Yeah, so potentially, if if we can, if we've changed the bear's initiative enough mm. from its reroll, one success. Let's do something. Yeah. So come on, bear, suck more. Lucy, what are you doing first? I don't think there's much I can do. You can attempt to break away from the bear. You can attempt to shift while in its maw, so you can spend the point of rage and change to Krinos form, basically bust open its jaw, yeah, that and make an attack against it. Or you can attempt to try and heal, which is a regeneration roll. I don't know how I do a regeneration roll. Uh, <clears throat> that would probably be the best thing to try and do at the moment. I'm still got it clamped around my shoulder. Oh yeah. So I'll probably try and break through first. Mm. But I just I don't know how to do a regeneration roll to know how much worth it is. Mm. Whether or not I should split my dice form. If mm. it's ridiculously hard, then it's no point. I want to break free. I want to break free. I would chuck something at you, but I don't want it tainted. 
Nah. Like the closest thing I have to hand is dice, and I don't want my dice touching you. No, they break. You have angered the dice gods. Mm-hmm. I don't want your luck transferring to my dice. But I've only botched one roll so far. So far. <laughs> also, does my honour do much in a fight? Does your honour do much in a fight? Mm-hmm. In regards to what? I have to pre honour. I don't know what it's for. I don't know if I can use it in some way. Oh, no, no, no. Your renown no. doesn't affect anything until um, you get ten and then you get a point of renown. Uh. It's for used to indicate showing how to level up. Uh. Ah. Okay, well... I still have two points of rage because I used to point the rage last session. Yeah. I'm starting to get the feeling this is just a straight up fight. You think? <laughs> okay. Woke a sleeping bear. What do you expect to? Oh, wait, if only I could have a hit which is a roll. Mate. Sleep. Mate, it's fine. Sleep. <laughs> he, he's fucking he's fucking going on the ground on my phone. Oh yeah, no, I know. Happy Flies to the ground. ground. <laughs> Flies without fear. Flies through the air. I'm dead. I doubt I'll kill a bear in one go. I reckon the bear's probably a lot harder than the fucking uh, spirit was. Harm. <laughs> Harm. Definitely a better initiative. <laughs> Okay, so you can roll a stamina roll to regenerate a level of um, lethal damage per success. Difficulty is eight. But I still have to take a minus two because I'm injured. Correct. So you've been re rolling a dice and hoping for less. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to spend a point of rage at bust into Kronos form. Okay. Hopefully that will help me get out of this. And what are you doing with your normal action? Uh, get my shoulder out. Okay, well, your shoulder's probably going to become loose when you change into Krinos, because it's gone from biting a small wolf-sized thing to now attempting to maul something that's seven foot tall and wants to kill it. <laughs> uh, then with my normal action, I will hit it. Okay, what kind of hit? No, if you look on your second page Whack. of your couch sheet, it tells you the different types. Bite, yeah, bottom right body the tackle, page. claw, grapple, kick, punch. Kick, punch, blah! <laughs> The more descriptive you are, the more bonus dice I can give you. If you just want to go with, I'm just going to attack it. Go Kung Fu Panda on its ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But... No. Are you you're... calling her fat? Okay, what's that? Are you uh... saying that she could do that because no, she's fat? No, no. Are you calling her fat? <laughs> what was the name of the um, tiger <laughs> in the first one? Kung Fu Panda. I <laughs> don't remember. Oh. Um, Anyone remember? T- oh, Tigress. No, tigress. The, the big... The, the, uh, the big the big evil guy. I don't remember. Um, Tigress is the only tiger you need. Uh, yeah, it depends how much needles. Um, uh, I have an injured arm, so I don't really want to try uh, and claw it. I don't really want to headbutt it. I think it's probably got a harder head than me. Try and bite it in the throat. Uh, there's a lot of fur in the way. There's a lot of fur in the way of anything when you try and bite mate, it in the throat. Mate, it's like applying like oh, human logic to this. Yeah. <laughs> You're a werewolf. You're nine foot tall. Okay. It's big. Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> You're going to hit it. Yeah. Cool. Straight up dice rolls. Stone cold, cold stunner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grrr. Uh, the bear is going to attempt to dodge you and hit you with a claw. So it's splitting its dice pool. Merlan, your action. <laughs> okay. No, because even after me, you're coming up to it. No, clearly it's not back. It's not backing down at all. No. What gifts do you have? Yeah, no, um. So smell of man, spirit speech, and visions of the duot. Nope. Yeah. No. Lucy, what gifts do you have? Um. Persuasion, scent of true form. So if I meet a um a Garo, I automatically know they're a Garo. Mm-hmm. Um. Or if they're any kind of creature. Minus humans, I have to roll separately, uh, and I can sense worm on any person if they're infected. Okay, make a sense worm roll. <gasps> okay. Yeah, that was one of my possible um, selections, but I was like, mm, I'll let no. you roll that now before my land takes his action. <laughs> it may um, change things. Probably won't, but I can. I could just see now. You know, we're just like. 
Nom 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 nom. And then I take off two injured players. Um, uh, if it's in front of me, like in a single place, it's a six. If it's uh, less time, it's a seven. If it's something like a vampire, it's an eight. So okay, it's a six difficulty. It's fairly in front of you. I see two eights there. Yeah, nice. Four. Wow. Four successes. Oh, right. Four dice. Which yes. Good. This bear is being ridden by a bane. <gasps> Hence the glowing red eyes that trail, even though its head isn't there anymore. Well, I can I can get rid of it with a right, but that's I don't know. That's what my rights do. I can get <coughs> rid of, my rights can get rid of these things, but I have to get out. So I don't have anything. No, no, your action. No, cool. You know, I'm gonna you know attempt to bite it in the throat. So I'm basically gonna jump at it. You know, and try and try and bite it in the neck. Okay, mm. so that's just an attack, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Especially because I get one, you know, plus one die to my bite damage as well. So hopefully this will go well. Cassus. So, um, so my action is going to be to bite it. So what? Uh, am I behind it, heading up to it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna run over to. Like the back of its sort of calf, mm-hmm. and I lock my lock my teeth around the back of its calf. But I'm also going to use my falling touch, which I can um, I can deliver it through an attack by paying a point of willpower or rage, which I will pay a point of rage. Um, and the attack deals full damage in addition to knocking the target prone. To try and knock it prone, I roll my willpower, and the difficulty is the opponent's stam plus athletics. Mm-hmm. And Izzy. Um, Circle kicking. I'm not really a fighter, dear. Neither am I, but I'm going to bite. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Um, you know, my normal strength of one. And in this case, <coughs> four. You know, when I'm changed. What I'm actually going to try and do... The good thing is bite goes off the six. I oh, can see that his eyes aren't. My dex right. is slightly better. Bear's eyes aren't <coughs> like that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try and claw at his eyeballs. Okay. I'm going to claw his eyes out. But yeah, so to roll so the attack. attack. We resolve attack. actions Strength backwards. Like Lizzie, you attack first. Mm. Claw at his eyes. <coughs> Please don't do it wrong since everyone's going to take their turn with it still like, holding on to my shoulder. Um, <coughs> that's three successes. One was a ten. Uh, yeah, you hit. <laughs> You're the one that works out your difficulty. Okay. okay. Um, it's not going to dodge you. So roll your damage. Okay. So how do I do damage? Your damage is the number of successes so you got on the attack. Five. Three. Yeah. Plus your strength. Yeah. Plus anything extra for the type of attack that you've done. Oh, yeah, Dex plus Brawl. Um, it yeah, it says is. plus two slash A. <coughs> what does that mean? So, plus two dice. Okay. A for aggravated dice. damage. Okay, so all of this is aggravated. Yep. Okay. That aggravated is a lot for me. Of dice. The rest of it is for you. That is a lot of dice. Just makes it even more impressive so if I just go. Um, yeah, work off the roll. So what? roll it. Difficulty seven. Difficulty seven. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, five. Bite is the easiest one to do. Yes. But it only does plus one damage. It's still aggravated. Yeah, it, it, its damage isn't over the top. Mm. That's nine and two of them are tens? Tens don't count for anything again. Okay. You know, specialisation. So nine successes. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You don't think your clawing of its eyes mm. did as much as you hoped it would. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right. I have an extra pull that's perfect just to roll it. Okay, Cassis. Uh, yeah. So, the the bite attack itself is the attack, and then the willpower is done separately as a roll. So, bite is a specialization, so the tens will count double for me. If I roll any. 
Uh, yeah, that's two. That's a success. That's a success. Bites. That's a success. And that counts as one now. Six successes to bite it. Okay, it's not going to dodge you. Cool. Um, what is what <coughs> is its athletics plus stam? <coughs> Two. <coughs> this this is for my falling touch. Ten. Oh, fucking hell! I actually have to roll ten. Okay. Wow. If I get even one success according to this, it it still works. So if I get a ten and don't get a one to counter it, there's a ten. Yep, there is a ten, and no ones. Okay. So, um, in addition to whatever damage I do in a minute, he is going on the ground. Okay. So I'm knocking him prone. You threw it on um, the ground. So the damage you're saying is strength plus so number, number of successes, successes plus your strength plus any addition for the type of attack you've done. So bite. So plus one. So twelve. <coughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Get those out of the way. And it's 7 I'm looking for, so let's put that 1 and 9 just out of the way. 7, 10, 7. Hmm. That's 3 successes for my damage. Okay, you don't think you did any damage to it whatsoever. But I did throw him on the ground. Okay. So, basically, Lizzie has raked its eyes, at which point it's reared back mm -hmm. to try and avoid the blow, at which point you've come in and basically smashed against the back of its kneecap, biting at it, yeah. in, right into its sort of meaty bottom part of its leg, Ooh. and um. you've then pushed through, which has sort of blown out its its leg for back going forward, so it's fallen backwards on its back. Uh, now we're on Merlin's attack. He's yeah. currently prone. Ah, okay. Um, by the way, thank you very much, Cole Burton, for the, for the host. Thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, that just makes it easier. So yeah, I'm still, you know, I'm going to attempt to bite it, you know, um, bite it in the neck. So that, has, that hasn't changed. So six dice. Go away, you. Ooh. So, yes, yeah. Oh. Oh wow! So either way, that is still four successes. Okay, it's not going to dodge you. No, uh, nope, that's cool. So, um, yep. So that's four successes. So then it's just my strength. <coughs> uh, so yeah, do I need to roll for damage? <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the number of successes plus yep. your strength plus any additional damage. So four. Um. Six, seven, eight. Hey! Oh! Plus one. Because <laughs> of Fuck the. Because Hispo. Uh, so nine, seven, seven. Yeah, um, does it. Um, the difficulty five, you know, that, that still applies no, for the. No, it's seven. It's eight. It's seven. Uh, seven. Okay. Um, eight over there. So yeah, so that's four successes plus one. You know, for aggravated damage. Okay, you try to get purchase on it, and your jaws do latch on, and you definitely feel that you're struggling to try and pierce its, its meaty part of its neck that you're oh. just biting into, and you're just not getting the purchase with your jaw. No. Also known as, you are not getting through its soak. <laughs> <laughs> But in a much more flowery, descriptive manner. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, the bear's action. You ain't heard it hard enough, fool. Uh, it is going to still keep its dodge, but it's going to instead stand up. So it releases Lucy, dropping her to the ground, and stands back up on its hind legs. Lucy, your action. Mm -hmm. Are you changing, or are you still going to shift and then attack it? Um, can I change my action? You do, but you take a minus one to your dice pool for changing it. I don't know how to do it right though, so I was trying to find... <coughs> I, don't, I don't think I can, so... The right would take time, you probably have to try and knock the bear unconscious. 
Or you could explain to your pack mates the knowledge that you now have. Since currently they just think it's a bear, which is why they're trying to kill it. Um, I think we're keeping it distracted plenty enough. Um, <laughs> can I talk for my action? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. How many words do I get in a round? Well, it's three seconds, but we'll go with aesthetic licensing. Just don't like spin off into an entire lecture. No, don't take the pitch. <coughs> don't, so, uh, don't, don't, don't monologue. <coughs> don't do a Reggie. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> don't kill. Mm, I don't really want to use the word stun. Incapacitate. Mean, seriously. Incapacitate. Mm. Uh, infected by worm. That'll do. Mm. Words. Okay, so that's the end of the action chain. Do you want to keep that initiative, or do you want to change it? <gasps> most of us, most, most of us, us are before, before the bear. Him. Yeah. Which is kind of helpful. Yeah, it's just annoyingly if you know, if, even if, if there's one of us that Neil want to roll again, we all have to roll again, and I don't want to take the risk if most of us are ahead of it. Yeah, because it gets the chance to roll again as well. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's a pack decision. So no, if, if most of us are before it, it I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to keep it. To keep it, again. keep it, yeah. Okay. What does the alpha say? You were not my opinion last time. I don't care. So. I, I, it's just last, last time the bear was in front of everybody. Now yeah. it's behind three of the four of us. Yeah. I, I honestly don't care either way. I, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So Lucy, what's your action for this round? Um, how am I? Not dying. Congratulations, my love. I must shut my right because it's going to take time. Okay. The bear's action is to dodge and attack. And it will be attacking. Target rich environment. <laughs> is it um, not an action for it to stand back up again, or is it's it, already it, done that. it changed to do that this oh. round? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's going to be attacking Merlin. Ooh. Merlin, what's your action? No, no. Um. Yeah. So yeah. So do I know it's about to attack me, or do I not yeah. know? Split seconds beforehand, you get the urge that it's going to attack you. Okay. And I. It's a sign that's dodged to you as well. <clears throat> okay. I. Ooh. I'm going to attempt, you know, attempt to dodge its attack, mm -hmm. but also I'm going to try and, you know, try and grapple it. So basically, try and, you know, uh, grab, you know, grab it with my jaws and try and pin it down. Mm. Okay, so that's two actions. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to try and split my dice pool, yo. You don't do very well at not splitting. Do you really want to test it? <laughs> hey, hey we go, we've yo. got to give it a go. Here we go, yo. Top us, top us our scenario. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I can find something nice to say. This, to this is all. this is this is when James actually has he to was look up something. A thing. <laughs> he existed. He did stuff. <laughs> we cared a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure I care enough not to piss on his grave. What form are you in? Um, hispo. Okay, you cannot make a grapple action. Oh, okay. Hmm. It's only available when you're in Homid, Glabro, or Krios. Ah. Yeah, because I figured I could, you know, I could basically try and latch onto it, you know, with my jaws and, yeah, basically try and pull it. Yeah, actually, yeah, you can't properly. Can you know? Can I still, you know, try basically try and bite, you know, try and bite it and attempt to pull it to the floor, or is that still not a thing? Yeah, well, it's not a grapple. No, It'd that's basically fine. Basically, be a strength off. No, okay, that's cool. Um. <laughs> we just we just had this look of oh shit. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'm going to dodge and then change into into Kronos form. Okay, are you going to roll for that, or are you going to spend a point of rage? Spend a point of rage for that. I think is safer. What, is that to knock him on his ass? No, to shift. 
Yeah. Culture shift. Mm. Cassus. Yeah, I'm I'm spending a point of rage shifting into Krenos and I'm going to attempt to uh, go upside his head with all up in my claws. Sure you can. <laughs> Claw oh. edition. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, one attack, yeah? Uh, yeah, it, it, will, it will be one more focused attack. Lizzie. Alright, um... We've been told not to kill it. So... Killing is bad, okay? I'm currently struggling to think how to speak. Headbutt it. Um, yeah. Kick it in the nuts. <laughs> it soaks the issue, though. Mm. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to... going to try punching in basically his kneecap to okay. try and shatter his kneecap. Okay. Fucking oh. BAM! You're it, just going to punch. You're not using your claws. No, I'm not going to claw. Okay. Because... So it's lethal damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't know if punch is in this system. It is. Uh, according to this, yeah. 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 Okay, so, so you've got the rules for it. bashing damage. Okay. It's nice that it does have the exact manoeuvre rolls in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really helpful. Okay. I've got the expanded okay. list of manoeuvres as well. <sighs> Yeah, what you know. Currently, what I'm thinking, you know, what I'm thinking is after I, after I've changed, I'm thinking of you know Tekken, you know, where I'm basically going to be king. I'm going to be a, you know, try and be a grappler. Wrestling, wrestling. Okay, Lizzie, your action first. Yeah, going to try and take but, out you know, the sneaker. Versus, uh, oh, what's his name? Kuma. Mm. This yeah. is Kuma. Yeah, the bear. <laughs> so that's three successes. Um, so three successes plus my strength. Mm. Uh, Who that one? Okay. Wrong one. Uh. Mm. Mm. E Claire. Punch it in the kneecaps. Six successes to punch it in the kneecap. That's six for the damage. Okay, it's not very dodge. Ah. That was for the damage. Six. Oh, six successes for the damage. Yeah. yeah. I would let Merlin have some, but he'll eat all of them. Mm-hmm. Is it crispy? Yes. Allocate Man. you some. I'll, I'll allocate you some. <laughs> I'm on ration duty. No. Yeah, because mm-hmm. me and Cassis want some. I want all of them. Cassis, your action. Right, okay, so. The point of rage allows me to shift up to the screen of form. Them. Um, because I'm thinking, in order to get him down to the point, we can try and knock him out. Um, I'm going all guns blazing until he's like teetering. Um, so now that I'm in Finish form, him. I'm just gonna rake all the way down his back. And okay. I'm just gonna fucking fuck him up. Um, so three, four, seven. That's eight dice. Have an extra one. Ah, oh, thank you. Nine dice. Um, Some dice. Yeah, that's full. Ooh. And the difficulty on claw is six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six successes. So that's. Just gonna dodge. Hopefully it fails. Uh, deduct five successes. Still one success. So you still hit, yes, but you're going to get one or two. Um, wow. But that is three, seven, nine dice I add through strength and the claw action. Mm-hmm. So it's probably, you know, even evens out enough. So that's a grand total of ten, ten dice that I still attempt to yeah. fuck it stay up with. One claw. Three, five, six, ah! Okay. Well, this this that represents me going all out for the motherfucker. 
Uh, difficulty is seven, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six successes. Aggravated damage. <laughs> um, it's plus two. You rake across its back and bucks two. forward. Mm. You add that when you do. Uh, the bear's action. Uh, oh, that's that. Oh, that's dice. I thought yeah. that was just a plus. No, plus two dice. Oh. Oops. Um, where it's got you know the pluses on there, so like plus, plus one, two. you know, yeah. or plus two. That's dice. I thought that was just plus damage. No, no, dice. Oops. My bad. That's alright. I missed that one last time. It's all there. Isn't there a lamp full of that? Uh, he is. Yeah. He dodges and shifts. Oh, okay. Oh. So he shifts up into Criminal Swarm and gets prepared to dodge. As the bear makes an attack against him. Yeah, there we go. Mm. I forgot that part. <laughs> <clears throat> Which I will need to roll some, yeah, some <coughs> kind of dice to dodge and mm, <coughs> with this. Which, Two successes. Um, so, yeah, so what do I roll to dodge? Your dex plus your... Four, six. I'm hoping that he fails so we can go, why didn't you die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hope he succeeds just so that we don't have another person on the fucking ground. <laughs> yeah. Three successes. Okay, he misses you then. Ha ha! Yeah, so I managed to dodge out of the way. You out dodge and then, and then go big. I made myself a big. <clears throat> yeah, so I <sighs> You are definitely moving. So Lucy's action, she begins to summon the spirits to the uh, area. I'm going to actually use my previous rage point to change to Chronos form, since I'm currently in Lucas. Yep. I need my hands. Mm -hmm. um, I find, um, through spending an extra point of Noki, Nucky. No, sis. Nucky. Nucky. Where's the K will, come from? Uh, the spiritual guide for me to find the perfect instrument that I need. So I just glance to my right and on the ground is a perfectly sized stick that I need. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> I begin walking counterclockwise around the fight to okay. try and draw. Because of that point of Nucky with the stick, I will be drawing a perfect circle in the ground. Okay. <coughs> I don't think the rest of us are paying, you know, paying that close attention. No. It's like, it's like, it's off there. So, <laughs> so, do you want to reshuffle the initiative order? No. You, you, you're not going to let me try and go high to do the right first. It's a less fight. Mm. Because I, from from this one, I have to complete the circle roll, and I will cleanse the person straight away. Mm. Is there anything you can do to? Guarantee yourself higher up the chain is the thing. Uh, I don't know if I can use willpower to give myself higher in initiative or if I can use rage to put myself higher in initiative. You can buy successes with willpower. I will buy successes with willpower and guarantee myself up the chain. How does that sound? Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's cool then, we'll reroll. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to. Yeah, that makes more sense. Throw, throw to the wind and attempt it then. Remember your damage level deducts dice from every dice roll, including I, this one. I, well, yeah, I remembered that. How does the willpower thing work then? Uh, so spending one point of willpower. Yeah. It buys you one success. Uh, what was it? It was dex plus. Athletics. Athletics. That's plus wits. That's plus Are you wits. able That's to it. do that after the roll? What? Uh, buying successes. You roll, then you buy. What do I? You have to choose to do it first. Where are you going to do it? Oh, right, then you roll sorry. the dice. Okay. Well, I will declare I'm going to do it. I'm going to basically. I've got five willpower. I will use three, <coughs> so okay, no. straight away, to ensure that I will go high up in the initiative track. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, it makes sense. Best to be safe rather than sorry. Yeah. One, two. Well, slightly better than last time. I'm going last. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Did you botch? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Do yeah, you want to use your willpower? He rolled I, before he said I didn't he declare. No. You can use Pope Power when you botch. 
Yeah, you can use willpower when you botch to augment the dice so it's just a failure, not a botch. What happens on a botch on initiative? Uh, it means that not only do you describe your action last, but it also goes last. I'll take the risk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, seven successes. Five successes. Six successes. Five successes. <laughs> okay. Four successes. Three successes. Two successes. Hey oh <laughs> one success. Minus one, my botch. No successes, <laughs> but that's a bear. Ooh. And minus one success. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going first, Cassis? I thought I described last and went last. Yeah, yeah. but well, in this case... You oh, right, I described first. But, <laughs> but you end up going last anyway. Yeah, no, that's so. fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to... In fact... Um, I I will attempt to grab him this time. Okay. Um, yeah, I, 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 will, I will go in for the full-blown grapple. Uh, I'll try and grab him. You're in Kronos, yeah. That, right, that was Kronos. basically my thought, my, yeah, my thought anyway. Awful, so. Just everyone grapple the bastard. <laughs> Dog pile! I mean, wolf pile! <laughs> just, just do it while trying to immobilize yourself. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, now that I'm in uh, Kronos form, you know, I was basically you know, going to try, you know, try and grapple, you know, grapple it you know, and try and pin it to the floor. Lizzie. Um, I don't know. Um, drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fire boy. It would count as a kick. Yeah. Climb the nearest tree and jump off the top rope. I mean, top that rope. Would be, that'd be two actions, and I'm not going to be splitting my. Thank you very much. Mate, mate, rage to climb the tree and swan on the motherfucker. Do a barrel roll. Then we just, just need to lay. No, him. That, that's what we just lay the bear on a table, so we just prep oh, him no, for no. it. You, you, you've got to go full gimmick. You need to like suddenly grow a cape and just <laughs> stand back. Yeah, There's uh, a hurricane coming uh, through. Uh, all right, there, jamming, jamming. Thank you very much for joining. Kick, punch. It's all in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi. This makes me sad. Well, if you can bring some more, yes, please. I'd love one. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. It's okay, she's only got to describe her action, and then she can go off to get the Pepsi. Ah, that's fine. Um, I'll be back before you know it. I can't, I don't know what to that's do. Fine. Such a fucking quitter, leaving all his fans alone. Jesus, what a dick. Because I feel like I'm going hey, to out, out of the room. So <laughs> you and Lucas fall. No, I'm in uh, Hi. Krinos form. <coughs> Your punch was fairly effective. My punch was fairly effective. All right, then I'll fucking punch it again. Same thing, going for its kneecap. Yeah. Okay. Chin them Well, it's not going to be Is able it? to run very far without its knees. Oh, okay. Um. Continuously uh, drawing a circle. Uh, no, I'm drawing a circle oh, while Chill. doing so. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you wanted a drink as well. I wouldn't mind, thank you. Lucy. I love you. Oh, okay. Have fun, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm drawing uh, on the ground with the branch. As I'm doing so, uh, it requires either pure water or pure snow to be on, on the object. So, I'm kicking snow on him as I'm drawing the circle. <laughs> When I, this is why I said to wait for your action. As I get near completing of the action, it says those of a strong performance affinity will start breaking into an eerie song to help complete while feeling it. So that the sort of thing you need to do is to scare away spirits, but you start feeling the yeah. compulsion before I finish Sorry. the circle. To start okay, turning yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll just do my um, minus one. And then if different. she gets in high, it helps with my roll. 
<laughs> so we'll resolve Lizzie's action first before Lucy's. Okay. <clears throat> so th- those inclined towards a performance will be inclined to do it. So, yeah. If you've got a performance of how or anything like that, now's yeah. the time to do it. Yeah, it just yeah. says, uh, those inclined to a Nay. performance... Uh, release an eerie, otherworldly howl <coughs> in attempt to frightening, frightening away the corrupting influence. But you start feeling it as I'm finishing the circle. That's cool. Just minus one two dice ball for changing your action to it. Yep, that's yeah, that's fine. Um, what would we be adding to that performance? Is it Charisma. Charisma. <laughs> so just my house, Gilda. So minus the charisma. Why? Because no, no. my charisma is one. Oh, sorry, did you miss that bit? Okay. Um, I, I he doesn't have any affinity for performance, That's so he won't be doing it. still add that no. one. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely do not have performance. Oh, yeah. so but, there, but that's fine. I can focus all on my energies and making sure the bear stays where it is. <laughs> howl or singing? Which would you prefer? It, it's a howl, because okay. it's more of a Gary right? Yeah, there's a oh, la 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 la. It's fine. Oh no, fucking like there's like howling from a couple of people. Then it's just. <laughs> <laughs> like what performance? What performance? That's <laughs> when you just hear someone, you know, someone is like, woo! <laughs> Play some Slayer. Play some Slayer. <laughs> Ready, blood! I've got my last of ready, Scar. Dice ready for that. Hold it. Alright. The number of successes you have will add towards Lucy's right roll. Okay. The number of successes she needs to get. Because we gotta get it right. So, usual for seven. The right. mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Go home. It's annoying because I have decent charisma, I just don't have perform. I'm last. So <laughs> mine probably won't I actually add to it. Field. You still run. Because you're shifting your action. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Even though I botched on the initiative. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll just take it into account for having mm-hmm. success. Yeah, because I've got, no, what, I've got a pool of three for rights as well, no. annoyingly, but... No successes, but no fails. That's fine. So that's four, two of them were tens, and it's a specialised thing, so that counts as another two. So four, five, six, eight. Eight successes. Okay. Woo. <laughs> so you've got eight bonus successes onto your next one. Jesus I'm just Christ. glad I didn't botch. Do you want some more dice? So what, should I add on yours? Do you I add, add on, on mine, dice? yeah. Alright, yeah, give me another four dice then. Well, how many you, you eight. eight. Use eight. them wisely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to roll the subjects when I get them lost. Eight. There's the extra eight from me, love. I um, told you, it gets a bit explosive on dice for d It says oh, yeah. difficulties based on the taint. <coughs> <laughs> mate, you keep away from hey, my taint. Like, hey, mate, what's your taint? Oh, yeah. You keep away from my taint, motherfucker. Yeah, because I have a bonus in howl and singing. Yeah, the so. difficulty level depends on the level of taint. Hmm. <coughs> what? I'm childish. Leave me alone. We already knew that, dear. I could see the smirk mm. was appearing on your face. <laughs> no. If it was a vampire, all we'd be doing right now is hurting it. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, the right cannot cleanse taint of the most inert sort, instead inflicting agony when performed upon a vampire, unrepentant black spiral dancer, or similarly corrupted being. So if we put something in there, we did this to them, we fucking hurt it. Mm. Especially so if, if it was a vampire, <laughs> it's like, here, allow me to apply my nails to Eight. this chalkboard. <laughs> Right. Scratch a plate with a fork. <laughs> Bang, yeah. go, get it on. Two. Are you specialised in rights? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. I've got two ranks in it, so I don't think so. Okay. <coughs> they need to be I four. I rolled so. lots of fives. Wow. Yeah. Uh, three. Three successes. Yeah. Oh. Still enough in its damaged state that you drive the bane out of the bear. Woo. The red pinpricks fade from the bear's eyes and it shakes its head, lulling it from side to side and kind of stares at you in this dazed, bewildered look and then just bolts. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly injured, however, and mm. it's bleeding heavily from its side. If we kill it, that's food enough for a very long time. Well, it's it's a decent meal. Mm. 
because it's not the sort of thing we drag with us. No. It's a bit big. Okay, so. Jeez. Lizzie changed her action. Cass yeah. has changed his action. <laughs> Merlin. Um, it's going to bolt. What are you going to do? Uh, how hungry uh, are you, we? Um, well, it depends on what time of day and if we've had any food since we woke up. Well, no. We haven't had any food since the tiny rabbits. We're hungry. Yeah. And you have no idea what time of day it is. No. none of you have asked to look at your watches. I don't have a watch. Or my glass. But, then, but then again, in my more <laughs> I, primal I state, you know, I'd be inclined to go towards my hunger and still attack it. Mm. Okay, well here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can eat it now. It's not tainted. Uh. Yeah. That as it attempt, yeah, attempts to bolt, and I'm just gonna, you know, basically try, you know, swat, yeah, swipe at it with my claws. <laughs> Okay. So dex plus brawl. So that is three. Uh, where's brawl? Four and it's, um, <laughs> minus one for changing action, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Three. <laughs> There's no other pluses there. Mm-hmm. No. Three, three, kick his fucking teeth. <laughs> no. Nope. Is that a botch? That yeah. is a botch. Oh, he botched the attack. Okay, you can spend the point of willpower or not. Well, I've got six of the bastards, so yeah, I will spend a point of willpower to not. It's just a failure. Yeah, it runs. You howl. (laughs) Yeah, so it. Yeah, so it goes to run. Swipe. Oh. (laughs) (coughs) It's running its prey. Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep initiative order or change it? Keep it. it. It's. It's last. Or second to last. Second to last. So mm-hmm. let's not change it. Um, yeah, we don't want to risk it. No, I know, I know. Would you risk it for a chocolate biscuit? Well, well, it's, <laughs> it, it is using its action. The only one that I care but... about making a decision is the alpha. Yeah. They can make an argument. It's up to you whether you want to change it or not. It, it's fairly low on the initiative order. So again, like I'd be inclined to keep it even mm-hmm. if I am last. Well, I'll keep it then. Okay. Cassus, what's your action? Um, <coughs> st- stick your middle claw up. Has it. it bolted far enough that we have to really give it chase, or is it. It's moved 12 yards. Okay. Um, Meters, foot, yards. No. Off, Specifically, just, the system works in yards. Uh, <laughs> just as a quick question, more for actual an animal. Law. Mm-hmm. Um, what is faster, a wolf or a bear? A wolf is leaner, smaller. Yes, but mm. it depends because the bear has more. Um, yeah, that's why I'm kind when of. When it gets up to top speed, tread. probably the bear. <coughs> but it is injured. In it time is time. injured. Yeah. So it's not going to be running as fast. Um, Plus, as um, well, in Kronos form, we'd be moving faster than it. I, I don't think I so because you get higher dex so. bonuses when you're in lupus mm. but either way because it's the more comfortable form for me um, I'm going to split action and I'm going to um, shift as I am as I run after it because okay. I'm going to shift for free down to lupus because yeah. it's natural for me so you're going to shift and move yeah but I'm going to I'm going to proper go at it yeah because I mean even just uh, according to the dex rules then you know Hispo or lupus <coughs> is faster than no no Kronos. Yeah, you know, I'm going to attempt to gi- yeah to give chase, you know, um, and provided that I can actually reach it, attempt you know attempt to leap at it, you know, with my claws. So move and attack. Yeah. Mm. Where is he? Um, I'm going to start running after it and shift into my lupus form. So you're going to mo- shift and move. Yep, shift and move. Yeah. Yeah. So two two wolves, you know, and a big war machine. <laughs> Lucy. Uh, in truly respectful fashion, I'm going to clear up the area where I have done my rights. My pack will catch the bear. <laughs> okay. Because I've also got an injured Tulane and I don't want to leave him unattended. So I'm going to put that down to attempting to regenerate the damage you've taken. Can I not? Yeah, I guess so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But I guess. There's, there's no action involved in three seconds worth of, hmm, I should probably tidy this up. <laughs> <laughs> since, since you're not doing anything that's going to really affect the initiative, it's not so much of a problem at that point. Yeah, so, you guys will catch him. You can roll your stamina to attempt to heal the levels of damage that you've got. So Remember, you're in Krinos form. Stamina. Stamina. Oh, yeah, yeah, stamina. Yeah, it, it buffs up your stamina. Plus three. Yeah, yeah. Well, wonderful, I can roll two dice. Oh no wait! Ah, oh, I, I have more dice than that. Okay, so I have three for stamina. Yeah. V for Kronos. I lose two, so um, I can roll four. So you're actually rolling a, a yes. reasonable amount of dice for it. Yes, yes. not one. Yes. Seven. seven. I understand. So yeah. Kronos is also regen for two. Two by ten. So you heal two levels of damage. I am now just injured. <laughs> So your dice pool has significantly increased. Hopefully. So your next roll will be even easier. Went from minus two to minus one. So it'll be easier to heal for next time. Okay, Lizzie, you shift and move up to the bear. Yep. And Merlin, you run up to the bear and attack. Yay. With a claw strike? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm attempting to, uh, you know, to leap you know, to leap at it, to you know, try and drive my claw, you know, claws into its back as it's fleeing away. Okay. Plus one dice. Right. Ooh. But that um, would counteract a minus one for splitting your pool for it being a movement. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. So it's just a normal. So that is uh, three, four. That's <laughs> the button. Yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> Still four. Because I imagine at the moment we're kind of <coughs> on either side of it, trying to help corral it a little bit as he's yeah. gone in for the war. Don't yeah. fuck it up. Three successes. Okay. Yes. Hit. Yeah. So I'm gonna dodge. <clears throat> so that is. I think it committed to the attempt to play. Three. Mm. Plus two. Plus my strength, which is. Thumb. Yeah, so that's a total of ten. Come on! Oh, there's a ten. There's an eight. Another eight. Another eight. Seven. And minus that one because there was a one there. And so that is five. Okay. Five successes. Deduct one success. Has it tried to soak the damage? No, oh, okay, so four. Okay, <clears throat> you bury yourself into its back, sticking your claw basically inside the gaping wound that's already in its side, and basically pulling out intestines, <laughs> organs of different shapes and sizes. Oh. Like a game of operation. <gasps> but instead of tweezers, you're using your claw, and the, it just crashes to the ground with you on top of it, <laughs> pulling out more and more of its parts. <clears throat> that is the combat over. Cool. I succeeded. <laughs> she's doing that, I'm basically going to start dragging the bear back. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to try and drag this how, fucking great big carcass. How injured is Tulane? To the injured Tulane who he can't is. move and still needs to eat. It would be easier to move him to the bear than the bear to him. Just saying. Mm. Especially since she's in Krinos anyway. <laughs> It, it's not me being shit, it's just we probably yeah. wouldn't try and move a bear that yeah, I don't size. Know. Is there a roleplay reason he's out? Do you want to do anything with him? Uh, yeah, he's heavily injured from the bear. He's unconscious. I don't know how to heal another, I can't heal another person. Can, can we use our well stuff to heal another person? Can uh, I lick him and heal him? How does it work? No, basically you either have a gift called Mother's Touch, which Delane does. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I can't heal. Yeah, in which case it's waiting for him to naturally heal or having a first aid kit um, we need to wait it like out that. and it will heal itself are you are you bringing him along to us yeah cool um i wouldn't be trying what, to drag what it do i it is it intelligence and medicine yep oh, well, that, that, oh yeah i was gonna suggest, suggest doing that because i have a little knowledge of that yeah lick him i will, I will attempt to use my wolf feet first aid medicine, so. You'd lick his wounds clean. Yeah, something. Yeah. 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 Uh, so I will attempt to use my wolfy first aids to like help put him back together. Ish. Two successes. Two successes. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, he's pretty unconscious. 
definitely from some sort of lethal damage. No, I, I, I figured he's been hurt. I'm, like, if we've got anything usable in, like, Is there the any blood splurting out of a limb? No. Like, if, no if, blood if... splurting out of a limb. Ooh. You can probably pack it with snow. That would help. Well, yeah, because what, what I'll do then is I'll take, like, a piece of some kind of clothing out of the bag. Fact. You, aren't you in Lupus form? Well, yeah, I'll... I'll so you tell I'll me shift. how to do it. Um, is that reasonable to assume I can tell her just how to tie I've, it? Because I've got hands, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll, so I'll pull something out of the bag with my teeth. <laughs> and then, like, tie. You pull a sock out. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll do. Um, she's going to rip it. Yeah. Snow, ice, cold, tie round, hurt bit. Yeah, I can follow these, basically. <laughs> <laughs> tie round, hurt bit. Stuff the sock with the snow, and then... Tie beat, it beat with. <laughs> Twat him with the the, the sock full of. <coughs> you, you managed to <coughs> bind a sock to his bleeding leg, um, and you're pretty sure from your rudimentary knowledge of first aid of you know, anything that very rudimentary that should stop it from bleeding. I think maybe, but he's still definitely unconscious. But not stop. dying. Stop. Re- re- reduce bleeding. Reduce? Reduce bleeding. Not dying. Not dying. Okay. Need, yeah. need, need rest. Okay. Eat? Yes. I'm hungry. It's because there's a giant bear carcass <laughs> next to you then. <laughs> oh, I'm in Kronos form. Is yeah. anyone else in Kronos form apart from me? Yes. No, I'm, I'm a lupus. I'm a lupus. Hurry fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Only time I've got bigger claws, I can rip trunks off for people. Yeah, no, um, no. I was yeah. basically going to think that. I'm going to try and to chunk peel yeah. back the fur so we can get to the chunky bit. I take the heart mm-hmm. and then chunk off bits for you guys because I've got bigger claws. Wait, first in. Who do you give food I'm, to second? I'm, I'm, I'm not waiting for you to rip chunks off for me. Once you're done, I will fucking go after carcass. Yeah, any, all, come. Mm. <laughs> you eat heartily on yeah. Yeah. the remnants Bear. of my, my my thing was I was waiting for the highest in station to mm. uh, to have, have her share and then it was like fucking after that I'm fucking having food <laughs> when we finish eating flies without fear <sighs> flies without fear need to find the mouse uh, when done when done <laughs> Bit okay. difficult. As you're not right place. As you're finishing eating, too much the snow. Lizard Money. starts to kick up again. <gasps> it was still bit. going, but now it's back to the torrent bit. that it was before. Too much snow. Mm. Not ah. hiding. Yeah. Hiding in. Need to make holes. another shelter. Yes, shelter. <laughs> oh, we could use the fire as a glorious rug. <laughs> we best game rug. Fine. Legit. Twin- twinkly lights. Big. People stone cube mm, box. Still very far. Mm, not so far anymore. Uh, is, is it worth us more making a shelter or trying to go? Because I thought the town was quite far. The town was about three miles from where you were. Not bad. I'm not, not bad in <laughs> our forms. But, okay. You can no longer was, see the twinkly lights. You can vaguely go. Well, it well was we there. it was over there, yeah. It was there, so let's head in that direction. As, as the unhealthy, lazy shit I am, I could quite happily make a three-mile walk. Mm. It's not far then. In no. a blizzard. Uh, I'm a belligerent. <laughs> I'm a belligerent <laughs> shit. Let's, let's not forget yeah. that. We're, we're furry now, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're furry. Did you, did you, did you told me it's three miles. I don't understand these human uh, concepts. We can make not, it. I've, I've said mm. not far. Because uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's not far. Okay. Uh, we need to be in smaller form. But when we get close, we need to be in homage form. Also what still got, about... Yeah. Um, Gabriel. I will, I will stay in this form and carry. You choose form. As we get close, we will need to change. Mm. Uh, then he can't change. Mm. Mm. We'll think of cunning human lie. Yeah. So, so he's Gabriel. In lupus form. Yep. Found injured wolf. Oh no! Wait, sorry. No, he's unconscious at the moment. No, so he'd go back into human. Yes, he's back into shifted back to Homid. Okay, yeah. we'll have to put clothes on him. Yeah. Okay, we. We'll, that's the fact. That's fine. Ignore that bit of the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will stay in this form and carry him. No longer enough clothes for all. 
Mm, wrap, mm, wrap him in bear, in bear fur. <laughs> no. Uh, we will share out clothes between us. You've got Zippo primal urge, don't you? Yeah. I am telling you logical shit about why that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, um, I have. <laughs> I don't know. And winter top and coat. We will share between us. Do you have any survival? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, okay. Definitely not telling you, Jack. Um, <laughs> Stay Can I tell him why that's a dick move? I carry when we get closer. This is untreated bear fur that he's attempting to attempt to wrap him in. It's going to be full of so much shit. Crud, <laughs> crap, disease. Not Putting it on injured wounds, <laughs> therefore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, should we? Un- unclean fur, not good. <coughs> okay. Can't put on um, injury. I'll ah. pick up. I see. I'm clean. Him, I'm going to dress him. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> not good for up. open wounds. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't yep. eat fur. Eat well, meat. Well, it's cold. Yeah, have yeah. you tried dressing Understand. an unconscious body before? Pretty much, yeah. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pretty good. Are, yeah. you, are you still doing that in Krenos form? With yeah. oven mitts. Well, there you go. <laughs> like, she's she's definitely strong enough for it to okay. not be yeah. an issue. And then I pick him up, and then I look at you. Yeah, I'll, I'll head off towards where the drifting lights were. Okay. Let's Start go. to make your way. Mm-hmm. The wind is really howling and whipping across. And you're pretty sure, like occasionally out the corner of your eye, you can see things moving in the blizzard. Oh. I'm changing. Oh, wait, wait. I'll say can. Mm. Since <gasps> I can see things moving, mm. can I make a perception? Yeah. Of course you can. Um, by the way, I changed back into um, his pose. Mm. Okay, because that seemed to work out well for me before. Uh, and I actually did it. <laughs> seven. Extra dice. Alex. Movement. Yes. Remember, I tell you about laws. Oh yes. Seven. Cool. So four. One of them is: Do not suffer thy people to tempt thy sickness. That's Only the right. strong. Side. Okay. So. We Cancel. don't try and save him. No, Cancel. he's strong. He survives. We help. One success. One success. Nah. Yeah. Okay. But mm. if not help and diability, but at the moment he's. Fine. Oh, that would have been nice. Mm. Um, yeah. So yeah, one one success. Mm. Hopefully he to. stays fine. Okay. You're pretty sure you're still going on the correct path. <laughs> that was to look at the moving figures. <coughs> oh, it so just good. looks like I've figures using, moving. I've in been there. using so human there's examples as I go. Actually, there. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> You're using human examples. What? What's quite good is Cassius when using wolf examples when we're discussing different things. It was a very funny conversation. Mm. <coughs> it was. Okay. <laughs> what she, she what is she rise at? over like a snow drift mm. and come down the other side? You can hear your claw as you're walking. It's kind of scraping against something hard, mm. but it still looks like ice beneath your foot and snow. But beneath that is definitely something hard and perishable, not ground. Concrete. Uh, Could be. You'd have to scrape it away. Yeah. To have a look. That's that. That was my my first instinct is to try and scrape away the snow to see what's underneath. You, you're pretty yeah, sure you straight. can see asphalt. Uh, mm, like strange, strange, hard people floor. Looks like yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> um, asphalt. Okay. Road pavement. What, what is change. asphalt? Yeah, time to change. Change. Uh, human road. Uh, human pathway. Uh, everyone make a perception alertness roll. Well, no. Mm. <laughs> Based Do we need off to hide? Sound. Uh, sound, okay. So, sorry, what was it? Perception. Perception alertness. alertness. Based off of sound. Yeah. Seven for me. Oh. Um, difficulty is normal. Take it. Difficulty yeah. is normal. Yeah. So Not a botch, but no successes. So, um, Flat fail. Two successes. Five. Okay. <laughs> You two can definitely hear, well, you hear like a rumbling sound. Very odd. You hear the sound of an engine. <laughs> what sounds like a very large engine? Like a truck. Mm, yeah, like a 16 wheeler ice truck. Truck coming, truck coming. You need to <gasps> hide. Is there like, anywhere for us to hide? <clears throat> you're currently stood and you can only see 10 foot around you. You're stood cradling someone in your arms and your pack is around you and there's asphalt beneath your feet. Where uh, are you going? Commit! Keep going! And I keep going forwards. Okay, he disappears <laughs> off into the blizzard. Like I keep going the direction we've been going. So wait, Com- committing to the movement. So he's gone that way. Is the engine like coming like along? 
Uh, you're pretty sure listening is probably coming from the left, maybe? Um, no, I'm... But you're going to get yourself run over. Yeah. Starting to see like the haze of light coming from the left-hand side. I'll have to run. <clears throat> run forward. Yeah. Run. I'll, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll wait and make sure okay. you go first. So I got Two pack behind. mates, Merlin, disappear mm. off into the blizzard ahead of you. You're pretty sure they probably went in the same direction as the other one. Mm. You're not entirely sure. You're currently stood on asphalt and it's getting lighter. Yeah. On your left hand side. What are you doing there? Um, run. <laughs> okay, you bolt bolts. Bolts. <laughs> okay. The two of you are together. The th- all the rest of you are all separated now in the blizzard. But you hear <laughs> as it goes thundering past. Coats. Okay. I don't know who I'm with. Me. You're <laughs> with Lizzie and Tina. Uh, okay. <coughs> we'll change the homage form then. Um, I am going to make a howl roll. Right. Okay. I'll put him down. To let's have to find people. Um, Difficulty is nine. Change. <coughs> you, can yeah, have, watch. you can either have. <coughs> you get a nice. You can ah, either have uh, a blouse and a coat, or you have the winter top. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, Merlin, make a I'm more used to being common than you. You take the blouse and the coat. Uh, uh, one shoes. success. There's a man walking towards you. <gasps> no, no, man. Yeah, wait. I'm, I'm with you. you. Getting changed. At yeah. Apparently. Yep. I'm changing I and getting ch- think we were separated. I think I'm separate to all of you. You're separate yeah. to all of us. And You're on together. your own. He's on his own. We're together because we bolted at the same time. Yeah, shit, and I'm still in hispo form. Fuck. Um, What's he doing? Is it, is it clear that he's, he's, he's noticed me? Well, it's a shadowy figure that's like walking vaguely in your direction. Still blizzard. He could be 15 foot away. Is there like a tree or a bush or anything Nothing nearby? that you can see nearby. Fuck. <laughs> the other direction. No. Okay. Yeah, I'll, he no, I'll bolt, I'll bolt in the opposite direction. Fuck okay. it. <laughs> okay. You bolt in the opposite direction. You feel hard, something hard beneath your feet again. Uh, the road. Yeah, rope again. Yeah, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll run. You know, uh, <coughs> it, unless I see anyone, the, you know, anyone of this lot, or I see a tree or a bush or something, I can go into. Uh, you don't. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you get across the other side, and you're going up this like what feels like snow, getting quite high up. Oh you, shit! You're kind so of I'm just trying to scurry because <laughs> you're botch roll. Alex. You're kind of getting changed, yeah. I'm, I'm going to shout off Alex and Gray because those are their human names. Okay. No oh, shit. I don't know if I, I can put a touch of alphaness into it. Yeah, you're going to need a howl or some kind of leadership role. If you're going to I'll do, do a leadership because I'm not howling, I'm, I'm shouting in human form. Okay. So I don't think I can howl in human Charisma form. Where's my leadership? Difficulty's nine. I'm sorry, you can't howl in human form. I don't think you can. Ow! Okay, I it's guess. The closest it's closest you it's can not. get in human form. It's not as loud. As no, 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 I'm just going to shout that name. Plus, I didn't do it as loud as I could because, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there are still people listening across the interwebs. They <laughs> like the microphone. They don't need to hear it out the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one success. Okay. Mm. So, do I, uh, do I hear anything? Mm, you get a sense that something's pulling you behind you. You get a sense that something to your right is, is pulling you. You get a sense that your alpha is stood right next to you, <laughs> giving a command. <laughs> so Lane goes. Fucking moon, moon. And I'll they're like, "It's fine, just not calling me. I'm right next to her." <laughs> I'll, I'll start padding along to the right. Okay, perception. Uh, that's right. Based off sight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is anything moving? Yes. <laughs> As you see a flash of boob disappearing. <laughs> but that that's a human thing and doesn't bother me. Um no, no, I'm just saying. Really flash. Yeah, that was a seven. So. Uh, okay. I've already changed and stood there you guys. Okay. There's definitely someone ahead of you, you're pretty sure they're walking towards you. About fifteen foot away, it's a hazy shape. Okay. I'll keep moving towards it. Okay, ah. you get within ten foot, and there's 
like a guy, solid built guy, and he's wearing like a quarter length top, like Canadian lumberjack top, mm. like red checkered and everything like that. Um, he's got um, a peaked cap on with the flaps down to cover his ears because it's you know it's fucking blizzard. Do I there. notice him before he notices me? No, you both notice each other about simultaneous. Uh, right. By the way, thank you very much, Serene uh, Landale. Uh, thank you very Luke's, much for the host. Yeah, Luke currently full. How many people are hosting you at the moment? Uh, there's four? a few. <laughs> four apparently. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it tells you when they unhost you. Um, oh, it's because it was a raid. Ah, it says on here. It doesn't say on there. What? You know, um, you know, remember I was telling you about before you know, about you know, about raiding. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um, it's raiding with a party of thirteen. So that means thirteen people have come. How many viewers are you up to? Um, I don't think it's updated, but bum. Mm. Mm, it currently says five, but it might not have updated. <sighs> okay. Okay. So yeah, you about both notice each other at the same time, and he kind of stops. And looks at you. You're in lupus, right? Yeah, four. Yeah. He looks at you. He doesn't look scared. That's not the feeling that you get from. I sort of perk up a little bit, and I sort of pad forwards a bit until he does. He kind of crouches down and holds out his hand. Okay, oh. I, 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 I'm going to go over and like sniff. Get a perception primal urge. What are you doing? Um, so I had a pull from behind me. Yeah. Is that where the shadow, the shadowy figure was coming from? <coughs> yeah, vaguely. Well, everywhere we could have been where the shadowy figure was from. Oh. You kind of bolted in panic and ran up a snowdrift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is the primal urge based on hunting? <coughs> uh, no. Okay, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Uh, that cancels. Screw it. No, one success. All I can think of right now is starting singing. Come here, don't you want to run? I'll take you. It's not what I've got in my head. I've got in the middle of my Does he smell a bit like us, or does he smell different to us? Also awesome. Mm -hmm. In the vaguest sense that you've kind of smelt Garu a little bit recently, Yeah. he smells like he's a Garu. Okay. Maybe? He could be. It's so, also a blizzard. <laughs> well, yeah. so that he, could just be so he doesn't... a Garu that's that way. Yeah, it could oh, be yeah, the yeah. Central <laughs> Merlin fucking praying for himself. <coughs> yeah, so, so, like, so basically the guy doesn't smell hideously off. No, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He goes, hey, buddy, where's the rest of your pack? Boink! <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> 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 I'm, sort of, I'm sort of looking around. I'm not actually saying anything, but I'm sort of looking around like. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, he basically retracts his hand, stands up again, and peers out, and you get that sense of feeling that the blizzard isn't really interrupting with his vision that much. Uh, <laughs> okay. So you know, I'm you know I'm gonna, you know look in the direction where I thought I was being pulled to. Mm -hmm. Back down the snowdrift. Yeah, I'm going to head back down the snowdrift. Okay, you go back. <laughs> Tunneling down the snowdrift. <laughs> and you can once again feel like hard, hard sensation beneath your paws as you're walking across. Do I see, you know, um, the sort of shadowy figure again, or does that just disappear? Well, I'm presuming you're going to go nervously. Yeah, and I'm nervously. It's not like go you're going exactly straight in the same direction. Because it's uh, it's a white out blizzard, they're really difficult to tell which direction oh, yeah. you're going yeah. in. So you're, you're kind of picking your way carefully, and you get down to the bottom. Very but that could be like... fifteen yards away from where you sprinted up it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm you know, um, yeah, I'm not going to go f you know full pelt, but I'm going to sort of lightly you know yeah. uh, not jog, you but get, you know you get across the asphalt, and you can once again feel it. Canter, you can yeah, sort of ca yeah, canter in the direction I think I was being pulled to. Ladies, you've finished getting changed. Uh, yeah. None of your pack have turned up. I'm gonna. Uh, call again. Okay. Louder. Another roll, please. <laughs> oh, dickheads, where are you? <laughs> Difficulty still nine. <laughs> Louder, faster, harder. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much, oh, dickheads, where are you? But I'm not actually gonna. I'm not actually saying that. Uh, two successes. Okay. You get a sensation that your alpha stood next to you is falling through. <laughs> uh, you get a sensation that off towards your right. There's something you should really be going towards. Um, you get a sensation that something to your left is there, and the the chap next to you sort of like turns his head immediately to the to the left, sweeps his vision across, and goes, "Ah, I spotted them." 
I'm going to start yeah, padding off in that direction. Yeah. <laughs> Walks comfortably by your side. Yeah, and I'm going to change my direction toward, know. you know, towards the right, you know, go I that way. You. Okay. So you, you, that you see two d- sort of figures in the distance. Oh, yeah. Mm. I may have to clean up out of the slope. No, I'll continue, continue going, but I'll be really cautious about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you're panning out, you, you can just see suddenly find a dustbin and bin it all. Your alpha and, and uh, one of your other pack mates in a human form, and they're currently dressed. <gasps> and they've got a Tulane in their arms. Uh, <laughs> even in human form, I'm just like. Yeah. Uh, not, I'm too yeah. strong in human form, so I'm holding Tulane. Uh, not, yeah, in that case, you know, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> you know, and then. <laughs> Come up quickly, and then I will transform into human form. So you can do that out of habit. Roll it. Nah, uh, no, oh, no cause, um, yeah, because okay. I'm homage, so yeah. yeah. You transform, and you're stood in your clothes. Yeah. We've still got some <coughs> clothes left. Yeah, so for Graham. Yeah. Where's Graham? Uh, um, uh, I have blizzard, not you seen. You see him. A, a shadowy form walking towards you in what looks like. Comet form, a, a humanish outline, and something a bit lower walking towards you as well. It's about fifteen foot mm. away. Yeah, exactly. I saw um, a fi- um, a figure when we got <coughs> split up. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, Hi out. there. Uh, okay. The the two figures approach. One is grey <laughs> and still in lupus form, and the other looks like a lumberjack in a short crop top. Got red. None of the snows touched him. He's got this flappy. Scent of, on it. scent of. Uh, sorry, I got sight. Wait, 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 wait. Scent uh, of the true form. Yeah. yeah ah. Do you get a roll for a different shape shifter? Ooh. Ah. Uh, close enough to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I have. I'm just there, like, <laughs> if it's a human, animal, or garo, uh, no. Uh, I only get high successes on vampire, changeling, demon, mummy, fera, mage, ghoul, or for for the for for yeah. Okay, you can roll. Let's roll that. Mine's perception and primal urge. Two successes. Okay, he's definitely a shape changer, but he's not a guru. Mm. Hmm. Uh, I, I, oh, is it, is there a, I put a hand across my chest, bow, uh, uh, respectfully say that I am, I am Jasmine, that this is my pack, we are not from here, are we on your territory? Uh, but I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Let's just get out of the storm. I'll get you somewhere nice and warm. He'll uh, heal him up and uh, warm your cockles. Are there any humans nearby here? Yeah, there's the, the town about half a mile along the road. Does flies without fear need to change form? Uh, no, I don't have a house in town. Okay. Mm. From that, I pull the extra coat out of the bag and give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and he basically turns around and goes, Come on, starts walking off into the blizzard. Thank you. I, 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 Do I, I get a sense from him? Because this is a complete stranger, even part of us, this society. Does he seem threatening in any way? Nothing so far that he has presented himself with is a threat. Whether you want to believe him, trust him, and go with him is entirely up to you as a pack. But this guy has basically found Grey, found you. Told you he's gonna have somewhere nice and warm that you can have some food and, and he can heal your pack. He knows mate. what we are. And mm. Yeah. At no point yeah. has he freaked the fuck out. Mm. To, to yeah, fair, that's true. To be fair, he walked up with me. Like he, if he'd have found me alone like that, he could quite happily, if especially if he's this comfortable in a blizzard, he could have just you. yeah, he could have just picked me up and fucked off with me if he's that hard. So it's better to isolate and kill than try and take on the pack all at once. <gasps> So that in itself is a reason to be curious enough to go with it. Not that I have a massive flaw for curiosity. Uh, 
He says as he fucks off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's following him, yeah. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him walk ahead. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have you slightly back mm. while we're walking so I can still see him because it's a blizzard and I don't want to get lost. Yeah, good. Cool. Um, I, I sort of walk side by side but slightly scary. back from him just because obviously he's, Shapeshifter I'm following him because mm-hmm. I can't go side by side because I could end up so, walking off by accident. So, mm-hmm. stay on he edge. really seems respectful. to be like unaffected by the blizzard. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 His his hairs aren't even Don't cold, give away. stood on end or anything like that. None Too of the snow is touching him. Willingly. He's he's quite comfortable Especially walking in this. He's got a knife this. and a sheath on his belt. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Do you feel more comfortable in other form? I am not changing now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it took me twenty minutes to put on this stuff. I am not changing now. <laughs> I'm carrying today. That's fine. Okay. So about half an hour you come to what is effectively like a shed and it's almost as soon as you start to get close to it it's like the storm just completely abates and then when you're in about within about 10 15 yards it's there's no snow falling at all and it's actually feeling warmer but that could just be the fact that there's no snow mm. i shake mm. myself off can I, is it can i have a cold spell? yeah is, so it, is it a cult? I'm going to out of habit shake myself mm. off and then go, oh yeah. Or intelligence ritual, your choice. Ooh. Just just looking at me like... I'll do a cult then, so if I get anything different. Four, six. 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 Um, you know that there are some spirits that are naturally pertains towards hearth and home, mm. and they generally associate themselves with rites performed by Garul, which are bears, were bears. Please say we don't have any of one of the bears <laughs> of the bear left in our teeth, because that would be awkward. <laughs> He, he's walked sort of up a the, the <laughs> couple of wooden steps and stamps his boots to get the remnants of the ice off and opens his door and you just get this warmth like coming from the open doorway of a fire and you can smell cooked food and he just kind of makes his way in and leaves the door open for the rest of you. Go yeah. in, not polite to leave out of things. Mm. Yeah, so I, I quite happily go in. <laughs> Try and do what he did because I don't know what that's all about. You stamp your feet back <laughs> and notice that the ice sort of cascades off of the boots. Ah, and then trembling. <laughs> I actually tap my boots off properly. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that's about. He was just stamping yeah, I'll do, you know, I'll do the same. Yeah, off. Off. No, I'll go you. last and slightly close the door. Okay. You go in, close the door. There's a, like a quite, not roaring fire, but there's a burning log fire with some its decorations around hunting decorations it's quite warm in here a lot warmer than you've been so far since well many days not even the warehouse was warm oh yeah I'm not lie to you. <laughs> so yeah so yeah i'm gonna you know, you know, shuffle up you know, shuffle up to the fire this just be like, <sighs> he, uh, he kind of like breaks out this like old tin box with a worn cross symbol on it plonks it on the top and opens it and it's got, you can see bits of bandages and plasters and is there anywhere I can lay yeah there's a there's a table effectively you can sort of put him on the table and he walks over and starts to look at him and looks at it and sort of looks at the makeshift sock and packed ice mechanism that you've done and uh, unravels it gently and to then kind of goes <coughs> and twitches mm. um, and he goes uh, he sort of indicates for one of you to go get a pillow and you come back and pop it under his leg and so on and so forth. I'm going to uh, rear up on my hind legs and put my paws on the table so I can kind of watch what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he basically treats the wound properly. <laughs> he picks Tulane up mm-hmm. and walks over to um, like a, it's a single bed. Mm-hmm. There's not much in the way of other rooms that you can see. You can sort of see it a dunny toilet thing over to one corner that's got a doorway across it. Uh, puts him, lays him down on the cot and comes back, sticks on some water and you know, soon starts whistling and he makes you all around of hot chocolates. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I'm just like... Mm. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely just cock my head at it. Like. It's a drink. I drink it. 
Okay. It, no, it ah. tastes very nice. I was, yeah, I'd say I, but I, wait for I, it to I cool down a second. Burn my tongue as well. I'm like, sorry. I put up my mobile phone. Do I have any signal here? No, there's no signal. He kind of looks at you and looks at your phone and goes, it won't work. Are we still too far out of you know, um, phone range, I take it? Mm. Uh, no, it's a blizzard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are, you, are you not from Canada? No. no. <laughs> oh, but you're, you're pups. What the hell are you doing all the way out here? Are you from the set? No. Now I'm doubly confused. Where are you from? <laughs> Far away from here. A mistake was made. Okay. Yeah. Mistakes were made. No, the blizzards, <laughs> they, uh, they interrupt with mobile technology. Especially the, the you know, supernatural kind of blizzards. They're terrible for that kind of stuff. Spirits everywhere. Uh, yeah. Happens. You noticed in lot, lots of anger? Ray, you are. There's no point telling you anger and rage. You don't know that by no means. Especially you. <laughs> that seems quite an offhand comment. You don't seem particularly angry. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. How new are you to this then? Um. <laughs> Um, How old do you say it would be, like roughly, that normally a lupus would turn? Uh, two. Two? Two years, and then you would have gone through your first change. So you'd probably be. Uh, maybe, maybe three, maybe four? Mm, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Averagely, you're looking like your early to mid 20s. I've seen four winter. Okay. So, originally a wolf. <laughs> Yes, I am. Um, very. I think it's the best way to put it. Okay. You're not. You, you're like. You've gone through all of the. I don't know what you guys call it. Um, Would you mind, before we continue, perhaps having a more personal conversation? What's your name, Sam? Oh, Bill. Sorry. I, I don't get company very often, so. And. As they say, we are very new. They more new than me. You are not a Garrow, are you? Oh no! To explain to them. No, 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 no. Uh, I am. Um, uh, what do you got? Call it um, uh, Garb, Werebear. What a bear! What we a bear. saw before. A grizzler. Sort of. Um. Yeah, yeah. Uh. But it's okay, because, uh, you know, Luna and Gaia, they, they decided to make us peaceful healers. <clears throat> Not like you lot, you know, filled with the rage and the, the burning desire to destroy things. <clears throat> but we are all one with Gaia. It's, yeah, <clears throat> when when we all remember that. <clears throat> so, you know, so, simi yeah, so very similar to us, just... I don't different. Know. Different, uh, yes. About as different as Us to you humans. are to humans. <clears throat> ah, okay. I think mm. you understand. Very new. Uh, Simpler terms would be better. Thing. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm Bill. Welcome to my home. Uh, why, why were you I've out I've stood there? here and I've... I've looked like really out of place confused everything like that and then suddenly i just go hi i'm kemi kind of reaches out a hand and shakes your hand that's what you do right very good human etiquette yeah mm. oh mm. another born wolf then what what is significance etiquette so um, i think it's being polite you know uh, with uh, wolf when first meeting, smell scent, be polite, sniffing. 
familiarization. Yes, human human familiarization. But serves no purpose. It is gauging one's strength with another another when you are gripping one another. Ah <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good way to do. Human etiquette is just done. Are you guys hungry? Um <coughs> I would not say no no to food. Thank you. Alright. So lumbers up off of the sofa that you'd rested himself on and lumbers into the kitchen. You now now that you like watching the way that he moves, it does look like a plodding bear. Even in his human form. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, without the music. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of lumbers into the kitchen and he sort of rips out and like a bread loaf and starts carving it up and goes into what he looks like a fridge with an ice chunk of ice at the bottom of it. And uh, it does, like does move like Grizzler. It's pulling out bits and pieces and starts buttering up some like, sandwiches. I'm probably watching him like. <coughs> how, how long does he have the freezer open for? Has he left that open for a minute? Yeah. I'm going to plod over and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Fridge filled with weird, like, glass objects with some kind of piece of paper wrapped around them. And there's, like, <laughs> a chunk of meat wrapped in more odd material. And there's this giant block of ice at the bottom of it that kind of is smoke drifting off of it. Seems to be fairly cold in there. Why do you keep box of ice? I keep the fridge so that I can keep the meat and stuff fresh. How how does cold keep the meat? How does cold? Oh, you mean how does it keep the meat fresh? It mm. slows down the, um, the breaking down of all the good things, the healthy things in the meat, so it keeps it going mm. longer. Oh, uh, it doesn't rot. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Well, I mean, it would yeah, eventually, um, but, you know, Lucy. many days. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to sort of s- slide all up to you. Right. Yeah, it's like Slide. Jasmine. Jump back away from it. Um, what do you think of him? He has been kind enough to open up his home to us. Can you be respectful while we're here? I'm going to mm-hmm. start nosing around at things and mm-hmm. looking at stuff. and There's Cupboards galore. Like, I'm watching him cut bread, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so if, if 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 there's anything like that looks like it's like movable, I'm gonna like move it around and see what it does. Okay. You you kind of drag your nose you against this weird question, material that spins check. on this piece of uh, metal and yes flops on no the floor. Answer. Okay. But mostly, speak. He can help. You. <coughs> it's about twice the length. Uh, okay. Sound reasonable. Yes. Fluffy. Also, at some point, we need to discover wolf name. Hmm. Wolf name. Hmm. My. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm. We'll think on that. Mm. Hmm. Pushing it around and trying to figure out what all these things are for. Kind of looks down at you, and reaches down, and picks up the tea towel, <laughs> and puts it back on the side. <laughs> Inquisitive little fella, aren't you? And he gives you a ruffle uh, by the in the ears. <laughs> <laughs> Flies without fear. Are you causing a nuisance? I don't think so. Good, that's okay then. <laughs> Enjoy exploring. Mm. I will. It sort of lumbers back over with this tray of like sandwiches made up of different things. You know, a jug mm. and some glasses around it. It doesn't look like water. Oh no. What colour is it? Mm. Uh, so I can think of the description of it. It's kind of a almondy colour. Hmm. Is it iced tea? No. Is it f- slightly frothy? No. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that. W- what is it? Well, I think I think us three are sitting around the table. That tone was on. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Come and sniff at some of the things he's put down. Okay. There's sandwiches that have meat in them. There's something sweet about the contents of the jug 
It's gonna be something really out there. It's Pims! No, I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, picks up a sandwich and starts to eat it, watching the rest of you. Like, I'm literally just looking at you. <laughs> I, I pick up a sandwich and start eating and give you guys a nod. Mm. Well, you know, right. like ridiculously young, you know, you're not even acting like humans. Just dig in! Ah, Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I pry right. open the sandwich and get out the meat and I'm like, I, I just go for one of the ones that smells meaty and just like just start eating. Mm. So Phil, do you have a habit of picking up strays? Uh, no, I have a habit of finding people in blizzards though. <laughs> Joke. Uh, no, I, I could just... <laughs> <laughs> I've never had anything like bread before, so yeah, it's just like... that's why I'm like... <laughs> like I've, people have given it to me before, but I'm just like... Mm-hmm. I'll eat what's inside. <laughs> That's the nice bit. I don't know, like, just, you know, you kind of get that sense sometimes, that urge, that there's something that you need to do. I just felt I needed to go for a walk and found him. Mm. Found the rest of you. Why not be homely, eh? <clears throat> After all, we're all one with Gaia. Mm, does, it, does it look like there's enough space for me to go through Kronos to get to Homid in here? Yes. I f- feel it might be easier to eat these things in people form. Okay, as you do that, I put the rucksack and place the clothes in front of where you're standing. As he's changing. <laughs> Wait, I'll, 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 I'll move to like where there's a bit more space because I'm aware that you know it's quite a big shift. Uh, okay, <laughs> Nine. Hello. Yes, I am testing the hot chocolate with my tongue. I'm like, you need your math one. Okay, so the first, the first one I actually <laughs> might <laughs> only get to his <laughs> Big dog. Yeah, just a bigger dog now. So it's a <gasps> but I get one more dice. Nice. <laughs> See, lots of dice, not always. Dice. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, this this time there's more than enough. <coughs> there, by the way, well, you make it to Homid. Yeah. Yay. There, 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 there was just a, I was just unfamiliar territory, so you know, I had to jump start myself a bit. <laughs> Clear. <up. laughs> kind of, it pours out like that, that much of the liquid into each glass, and then sort of slides it across the table. <laughs> I start haphazardly <laughs> putting on my clothes. Uh, quite sniffing. <laughs> It smells sweet. I take a small sip of it. It's honeyed mead. Ah. Uh, uh, mm, small amounts. Not had much alcohol before. Too much uh, will make you sort of lose your inhibitions and control. What's an inhibition? Um. Um, Alex, use basic terms for me. How to explain inhibition? Um, <laughs> um, It'll make it seem like even the most silliest thing is the most sensible. And it takes also, a big goal. But also mm. uh, means it's hard to control your anger in, cer- in certain people. I, make you lose I your balance. Like like oh, I look happiness. like a child trying to put all the clothes on. <laughs> So, um, I'm yeah. Someone gave okay, me the something they called vodka. This won't be as bad. Mm, Small okay. sips. Mm. I suppose the easiest way, easiest way to explain it is: there any way you don't like to act? Huh? Mm. I, I come sit down and like eat. I take someone like eat it like <laughs> some of the other like. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. You realise that we get to this point where we're the special kids on the bus and he's the one licking the back window? Yeah. <laughs> no, the, no to, to, to be fair, to be fair, it doesn't matter if I lick the back window or not because the moment someone upsets me, I'm the one who takes that window and jams it down their throat. Okay, for all of those that have eaten and are taking the bills mm-hmm. of hospitality. Um, you heal four health levels. 
Including if it's aggravated damage. Yay! Yay. What Let's just shove some food what down his throat. Do we just <laughs> you feel good? Just feel good. All of you feel a lot better mm. and good about yourself and warmed and, and healthy. Um, you, some of you that know about rights and stuff like that feel that there's a touch of the supernatural about this whole occurrence. Ah, I knew it. What do you know of the set of Garrows that are here? Uh, we'll generally steer clear of them. Pretty feisty bastards. Mm. Uh, I don't know. They they used to like you know roam around, <coughs> be good for the area, and generally do their the the, the workload, the the jobs. Um, they kind of you know over the course of like a couple of years, they just kind of. Yeah. You're seated, uh, just, just like that, you know, there. And, uh, There's no left. Yeah. I mean, I guess it could be because the, the town's got bigger, but I don't know. Generally, I didn't think that, you know, that Garu were really pushed away by civilization, but I mean, they're fairly way out, like a good you know, 20 odd miles from, from the town. Yeah, I don't know. Seem alright. Keep to myself mostly. They keep to themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ever since the. You guys know about the, the war, right? Mm. Sorry, I'm not familiar with that. Mm. Okay, so. Um, uh, I don't know about. 30, 30, 25, 30 years ago, there was like this um, <coughs> war, the war of rage, I think, <coughs> this planet, uh, where like, you know, um, I have to give it you from my point of view, so it's it's not going to be very nice about you, but, you know, you... Uh, I'm still learning, so that's fine. <laughs> you got a bit uppity about yourselves and, and thought that, you know, you you knew exactly what Gaia wanted and what Luna gave you purpose for and you uh, thought that the, the rest of us like, uh, like me, the Grawl or the, the Korax or the Bast or, or any of that lot weren't really doing their jobs so, I don't uh, really know what a Korax or a Bast are oh, uh, the crows and the cats and uh, the, the lizards and the snakes and the spiders and all of those kinds of things They're, they've all got like ones like us and themselves obviously you're like wolf based you know you felt that we weren't really doing our fair share and that you uh, you should be the the alpha <laughs> and tell us all what to do and uh, we, you know, we put across the fact that each of us are there for a specific purpose and you know and you, you lot decided to take umbrage of that and stuck the old big one up at us and then just... Yeah, there was a war. What's the big one? The, the big one. Offensive. <clears throat> Aggression. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, that That's like a really bad sign in human society. You do that when you hate someone. Sorry. Mm -hmm. In case you ever need to, you know, flip the bird to someone. Why would I flip the bird? That's what it's called, flipping the bird. But there's no birds here. It's a, it's a metaphor. What's a metaphor? <sighs> Things <laughs> go over your head and you catch them, mate. Like. I'd normally let them fly. Birds are meant to fly. Okay, stick with that. You'll go far. <laughs> so we'll discuss it after. Yeah, so, uh, you know, there was the war and you, know, you guys think that you won. <laughs> And we think that we won. And, you know, we just let bygones be bygones, and we'll do our work, and you guys can do your work and take all the glory, and that's fine as long as you know, Gaia survives. So I'm just going to take the time to point out. This is probably about the time I'm going to attempt to copy people drinking out of whatever the things that mm. are the drinks are in, and I'm probably going to pour it all over my face because I don't. Yeah, I'm just sitting now. Then you just be like. I'll be there going. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Yeah, so, so um, this happened um, 20, 30 years ago, you said. Yeah, yeah, it was like a massive war. Obviously, no, it didn't let any of the humans know, but... <clears throat> oh, no, of course. Yeah, it was like across the world. <laughs> um, so, um, I take it that other forms of people, they don't, you know, so, like, you, yourself, your part bear, you know, and yeah. don't get on with the rest of us generally or yeah there's some that hold grudges like you like hold grudges hell you like hold grudges amongst yourselves whether it's you know if it's a wolf and a human or and a rune and a I don't know a phileodox or a, well, you know all of you guys you're just filled with anger so much anger hmm that's really a shame don't have much anger when you're a bear <laughs> yeah, so, mm, that cool. is a shame let's go do my hair is now look for Bare necessities, necessities, so simple, bare necessities. What's grudge? Um, when when your patmate takes your favourite bone. Then they have won it fair and square. Human construct. Human uh, feeling, not wolf feeling. Hmm. Don't understand. Maybe that's another one for later. Mm. So yeah, so uh, that's that's what I know about the them up on the hill. <clears throat> so, so does that mean you are part of? Um, are you part of a pack or? You know, no, group? no, that's that's not how we changing breeds work. Ah, kind okay. of more like the lone wolf. You like that one? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, sometimes, don't get me wrong, you know, we, I we work together, like or sometimes, you know, we, we, we all the we'll, uh, we'll <laughs> walk together, or maybe we'll work with a Corvax, or <laughs> we'll work with some werewolves. No. Generally, we, we, yeah, yeah, most of us, we're, we're pretty happy on our own, doing our work. No, perhaps. <clears throat> Either way, thank you. It's all right. <sighs> guy who asked me to be here. Mm. <clears throat> so, you know, KG before and everything, why are you like here? Um. Trial? Trial? Mistake. Something that can help? We, we asked what you knew about the set of the green. Uh, if you don't know any more, I don't think you can. Except to the green? Never heard of them. Those guys. Uh, I don't think that's... The, that's not the set of the green. And then... Is that ours? Yeah. That's not the one... Oh, right. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Supposed to do trial? We won't what, do like, it. No trial. No trial. Are you are on your like rite of passage. No, we haven't done it. Oh, yeah. That was what we were supposed supposed to do. Yeah. Well, fuck. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> no wonder you're like some kind of unknown about most stuff like this. Wow. Well, no. I can help, but I can only offer you hospitality for well, the next twenty-three hours. Yes. Otherwise, you'll uh, you'll break your rite of passage and fail. But we haven't done it. We were kicked out. Maybe this is your rite of passage. What surviving? I don't know what you guys do. Mm. Mm. Well, no, yeah. you know, all we know is that we were we were kicked out for reasons we'd have no idea about okay well what, then, what, they, they must have told you what they were intercept Some, fighting intercept fighting yes. something about deaths the set we were from has apparently caused a crime against the set we were sent to and we were kicked out uh, <clears throat> so they did like a um, pack exchange yeah like a foreign exchange mm. so you guys came here so they probably sent some pups wherever you guys came from and probably those pups are dead or, or something worse so that's probably why they kicked you out because mm -hmm. you know as much as they're 
I'm not inbred, but you know, as thick as they are up there sometimes, they're fairly decent with their litanies. Mm. So. Mm. But, you know. yeah, some, yeah, somehow we were blamed. You know, blamed for this. When it's a blanket rule of sex. I, I um. think it's, uh, you know, we're the foreigners, like we were the foreigners, so it was easy for them to blame you. And and do unto you as much as they could uh, whereas it was like during the war it was easy to do upon us as much as you could <clears throat> hang on oh here's another lesson ready yeah. so we've been going through litany lessons since they don't know ah. <clears throat> so one of the other litany lessons is um, hang on <coughs> it's not do unto others <laughs> that's hmm? it's not do unto others as you would have them do unto you no um Oh, well, maybe one of the listeners isn't here about the harming pups. Oh, that um, that one. You know, I knew that one. So I think you mentioned that one mm. before. Because <clears throat> even they meant, even they mentioned about that when we were when we were there. You know, pups cannot be harmed. They're protected almost. Mm. That's why they didn't kill us. Why well, they just kicked us out of the dome, so what we really need to do is find some civilization to try and make contact back. Hmm. <clears throat> once, once storm of snow has passed, we should head south. Hmm. I have my credit cards with us. Me. So as long as we get some kind of civilization, I can pay for us to get back. What's the credit cards? <laughs> oh, pay for our transport. Transport? Mm-hmm. I can help. What? As do long as I call someone. What's cool? Yeah, yeah. As long as I, oh, I don't have it. No, yeah, don't worry. I've got as mine on me. As long as I call someone, they can send something to take us home. No, you're too famous for us to do that. I'll use mine. It'll be more discreet. What? I human turn. No. <sighs> well, you can't do any of that until morning. It's getting dark out there, and this storm's coming. All <coughs> kinds of hell baby weather in the area. <coughs> so. How long does storm normally last? Uh, a couple of days. But as I said, this is a wicked, not natural storm. Mm. Could be days, could be months. Mm, I'd go with weeks, but... Weeks. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. So you How meant about you just enjoy the company, get yourself warm, fed, share a couple of stories, and you know... Go <gasps> stories? Yeah, yeah. How about I go first? Okay. Story time. <coughs> Bitch, this is my jam. Don't ruin it. I'm not ruining it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Many, many years ago, <coughs> before the white man came to this part of the world, <coughs> there was a great tribe of the Windwalkers who dominated this land and ran it like an ice-ridden empire. The mightiest among these was a shaman called She Cries Ice who fought a terrible evil spirit. This evil spirit was called the Nathalus and could not be bound into anything of this world. But, you see, she cries ice, whispered to the sky, and called down a stone from another world. The great shaman bound the Nathalus into the sky stone and it struck the mountain with great force, thus burying the Nathalus completely. Legend says that the mountain lies but north of here, and that one day the Nathalus will rise again to defeat the children of She Cries Ice. It's a good story. Mm. <laughs> so have a think. Come back with some other stories. And with that, we'll call it quits for this week. It's your jam anyway. Stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's your job. Yeah, those. <laughs> bang Ooh. on eleven o'clock. Yeah. yeah, right. Bang on. Can I buy rubber for something? That ended up being a pretty <laughs> spot on timing. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's an interesting place to end that. But yeah, um, so yeah, right. Bang on time. So thank you very much, guys, for yeah, staying and watching. Um, also, if you have enjoyed, please consider giving me a follow. 
um, so you can keep up to date you know with all the stuff that we get up to uh, obviously we're continuing doing Werewolf the Apocalypse for the next few weeks because it's a session two yep. I believe yep. Yep. yeah so we've got another three, a few weeks left on that uh, so tomorrow night me and Cassis will be continuing doing Final Fantasy well Final Fantasy 7 if you're not aware so hopefully that will go well and then on Thursday during yeah during the day I'll be doing something I'm you know I'll figure out what I'm doing no uh, but otherwise you know um thank you very much guys and hopefully we'll see you next time all right bye, bye for now bye. Bye.